yes. And, and I said 28 six, it's actually 29 six, yes. a, that we're getting ready for. Yes, and, and these teams are both very good. I have both of them finishing in the top four by the end of the season. So John Jay, 3-0, and head coach Gary Gutierrez. We're going to feature him and his son Jackson a little later. Fantastic quarterback. You flip it to the other side, Josh Littrell, 3-0. and They got a pretty good quarterback themselves. Yeah, they do. Antonio Meza has pretty much lit up the field. We'll talk a little bit more about him later on, but he's a good quarterback. But that helps when you have a really good receiver, and he's yeah. got one of those two in Elijah Realzola. That's right. Big win for Jay over O'Connor last yes, week. Big huge. win for Warren over Holmes last week. We'll talk about Jay and Warren in a little bit, but right now we've got some individual standouts from week three of the high school season, starting with Harlan Hawks quarterback Noah Ferris. He threw for over 100 yards with a touchdown pass, and he ran for over 100 yards in three TDs as the Hawks beat the Brennan Bears 36 to 28. A guy we were just talking about, Warren Warriors quarterback Antonio Meza, threw three touchdown passes and ran for one. And he only played three quarters last week against Holmes. Cibolo Steel wide receiver Jalen Cooper caught three touchdown passes for, uh, excuse me, three passes for 140 yards, two touchdowns, and only two quarters of play as they trust as they crushed Hutto 57 to 27. Veterans Memorial Patriots running back Tavion Warren had well over 100 yards rushing, and he scored three touchdowns in their 46-23 win over MacArthur. Brandi Broncos linebacker uh, uh, Javier Hernandez took over the second half with sacks, quarterback pressures, and key tackles in their 27-7 win over Marshall. Macomb Cowboys running back John Paul Fisher had the hat trick, scoring three touchdowns, in their 62-15 win over the Edison Golden Bears. Wagner Thunderbirds running back William Reynolds also scored three TDs as they defeated the San Marcos Rattlers 62 to 17. One other person that stood out, New Braunfels Canyon Cooper running back Jackson Reagan. He had 220 yards of total offense, scored two touchdowns, and they beat their crosstown rival, the Unicorns, 32 28. That was a good game. In addition to big performances individually, we had some big team wins yes, we from did. last week. Let's run down the big team wins from week three of the season. The Harlan Hawks showed that they are one of the best teams in San Antonio. Their 36-28 victory over the Brennan Bears. Harlan, folks, is a solid team in a district that is very top-heavy. They are definitely in that in that category. Top to bottom, very good. The Burbank Bulldogs improved to 3-0 after handing the Brackenridge Eagles a 56-14 pounding. Gabe Burbank is for real. They are a very good football and team. it starts with this young man Kevin Hernandez who is dynamic at the quarterback position how about the Bernie Greyhounds won a real close one last Friday as they defeated the Antonian Apaches 42 to 35 big one for the Bernie Greyhounds Love your blue uniforms though for <laughs> for uh, <Yeah>. Antonian <laughs> the McCollum Cowboys improved to 3 and 0 it hadn't even been close yeah. they whipped the Edison Golden Bears 62 to 15. They have got a good team, and I know you love your Cowboys. Absolutely. How about them Cowboys? After the Huddle Hippo scored 80 points in their previous game, the Steel Knights brought them back down to earth with a 57 to 27 win. Sean, the Steel Knights are for real, and they are KSAT 12's top 12 number one ranked team again. Yeah, they've been there for a while. A couple other games we'd like to mention. You're going to see them tonight. The Jay Mustangs they easily beat O'Connor 42-13. to 13. That was a huge win yeah. for them last week. Sotomayor, I'm on the Sotomayor bus, baby. They're Three good. and over. They blanked Stevens last week, 35 to nothing. It's only their second year. Sam Houston Hurricanes narrowly beat Jefferson 17-13. We talked about Canyon beating uh, New Braunfels 32-28. And the Churchill Charters beat Madison 28-27 in a game that was finished Monday night because of the weather that came through Saturday force it to Monday. Now, Churchill played a little earlier against Johnson. We will get to that. Yes, Remember, these are week three right. games. Two things that stand out. Churchill improved to 3-0 yeah. after that win. And just 29-6A in general. Again, four or five teams vying for four playoff spots. Two of them we're going to see tonight. Two of them tonight. I think Harlan's going to win the district. And I've got Sotomayor finishing in the top four, too, in only their second year, which is incredible. But last year, I watched them play and they were really good. I'm excited to watch them play teams like Warren and Jay. I know you say Harlan's going to win the district. I think did you are, Did man. you say probably, or did you say they're going no, to win the district? No, they're going to win the district. Because I think the winner of this <laughs> game right Could here do it. might have something to say about it, yep, and it's because of two dynamic quarterbacks that we're going to see tonight. Very good quarterback, so it's going to be exciting. Like you said, there's four teams in this district that I'm keeping my eye on, and like we said, two of them here tonight. Sotomayor and Harlan are both really good. They're exciting to watch. That's what's making it fun this year. Quickly, 14-5A Division II. We all know that Alamo Heights is the, is the top oh, dog yeah. in that. McCullum, Harlandell, Burbank. Yeah. 
uh, Highlands might factor into that. Jefferson, Sam Houston, that that is, again, four teams vying for three playoff spots because we know Alamo Heights is going to win that district. Yeah, we know they are, and I've got Burbank, and I'm with, I'm going with your Cowboys, man. I'm on board with them this year. I think the two of those teams are going to make it as well. All right, we're going to go to break. When we come back outside the locker room featuring the father-son head coach quarterback combo of Gary and Jackson Gutierrez, it's Pickett Bowl High School Football Game Day right here on MeTV. It's so easy to love pick and pull. Why? How about the largest inventory in South Texas? How about the ease of finding your part with our interchange and real-time inventory search at pickandpullsa.com? How about an organized yard and maps to find your parts plus a shuttle? At pick and pull, we make it easy to save money on the quality used auto parts you need at a price you can afford. More to pick, less pull from your budget. Now that's pick and pull. It's high school football time, and John Wayne is right in the middle of the action. At the end of this game, one of the players will be chosen as the John Wayne player of the game. Go to johnwayne.com right now and vote for the player who you think will win. Pick the correct player, and you'll win two tickets to a San Antonio Gunslinger's home game. And just for playing, you'll have a chance to win the John Wayne $10,000 home makeover package. Don't fumble. Go to johnwayne.com and vote before the end of the game. I'm Oscar Cardenas. In football, we fight hard to make it happen. That's what makes us winners. 18-wheeler or company vehicle wreck injury put you on the sidelines? Get a winner to fight for you. A lawyer with grit and determination who will not stop until you get justice and all the money you deserve. And that's Wainwright Injury Lawyers, so don't wait. Call 8. Call Wainwright Injury Lawyers. 888-8888 now. Want to win? You know who to call. That's right, Wainwright. Respect. Justice. Demand it. Wainwright Injury Lawyers. Welcome back to Pick and Pull High School Football Game Day right here on MeTV. Folks, we all know about Shador and Deion Sanders, this, the dynamic quarterback-coach combo there at Colorado. We're in San Antonio. We have our own dynamic duo, Gary Gutierrez, head football coach of the John Jay Mustangs, and his son, Jackson Gutierrez, the starting quarterback. Here is this week's very special Outside the Locker Room. story in, in college football is is Shador and, and Deion Sanders, the, the father-son combo. You, you guys are kind of the, the San Antonio version of that right now. Um, you know, Coach, I'm going to start with you. Uh, talk about what it's been like to be able to coach not just a great athlete, but a, a, a great young man in, in, in Jackson. Well, coaching your son's always, you know, a cool thing. I, I, I told uh, somebody just the other day, I get opportunities to do things a lot of dads don't get to. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, it's been it's been a good experience. You know, not not easy, but but been a good experience. And so, getting opportunities to do that, you know, uh, at the high school level, as, as kids are maturing through, going from being a young man to a man is always always good. And you've got a younger brother who mm -hmm. is kind of coming up, and yeah. nothing like having a, a bigger older brother to look up to. Talk about the relationship with your with your brother and how you're preparing him. Well, what's going to be happening here in a, in a couple years? Yeah, so, you know, me and my little brother, his name's Miles, we're very competitive. Um, he tries to one-up me every chance he gets, no matter if I'm sitting on the couch and he throws a ball at me, like, think fast and hits me right in the face, you know. He tries to one-up me any chance he gets. Um, and he's kind of had a he's had a good experience. Uh, you know, he gets to be on the sidelines uh, during the games and see the interaction between me and my dad. Um, and he was at practice and strength conditioning all summer with us, too. So I think he has a good, you know, handle on it. Obviously, it's different once it's like, you know, for real, you're in high school. Um, but I think, you know, I tell him all the time, uh, even at home, when my dad gets on to him. Just, you know, he's trying to help you out. He's not getting on to you for any wrong reasons. He's trying to make you better. He's trying yeah. to help you out, so. You know, uh, uh, and, and to tie that all together, it, it's, it's allowed you an opportunity to, to to coach your son and, and, and to build that culture and that community that's not only going to teach him the life lessons. I've always said high school football is great, but less than a half of 1% of those kids end up playing professional football. Maybe 1% to 2 to 3% end up playing college football. High school football is about teaching lessons and about making good, young, decent men that will go on to do great things. You know, everything you talked about, the community, the culture, that's had a chance to really help mold young men like Jackson into, into great men. Yeah, you know, I, I think that uh, 
you know, I used to coach football, now I coach kids. Yeah. And, and that's, a, that's a big difference. You know, I think as you're a young coach getting in, you're wanting to coach a sport and you're focused on that. I think as you grow older and grow wiser, you learn you want to coach kids and teach kids and, and the sport is just a vehicle to do that. Uh, but it also allows, I, he's had a great village around him. Uh, get emotional about the coaches who've been here. Uh, I'm his third quarterback coach, you know, and the other two have touched him, have known him a long time. Uh, got a great faculty and staff uh, who taught him. Uh, so it's really been a family affair here. And, and it's been a journey for, for your father. And for a lot of the things that, that, that I've seen that have been um, incredible mm -hmm. to watch him pressure and incredible to watch him and these great coaches they talked about continue to do what they do. Talk about being along for, for that journey, because that's a that's a heck of a journey that makes me emotional, and sometimes it makes me a little angry as well, mm -hmm. but that's a heck of a journey that you, you've been able to, to, to be along. Yeah, so, I, you know, I've been a part of the J community since, you know, my dad has, so 11 years, and a lot of those coaches in the office have known me since I was very little, and I've got to see not only him, but all the coaches persevere through different seasons. Um, you know, there's been some really good things that have happened here, but there's also been some things where you had to, you know, stick your head down and get just get through it. Um, and it's been unique seeing uh, how they persevere, and it's helped. I feel like that's also a culture built here. Yeah. Not always to persevere, because not everything is, you know, we're going to, you know, this 3-0 and season that we start off 3-0, um, and we haven't hit too much adversity. I'm ready for when we do hit adversity because I think when we hit adversity, we'll perform our best. I think that's when we'll peak up and peak, hit our peak. Um, because we know, we know we've seen it modeled for us um, throughout our four years here, freshman, sophomore, junior, and now coming in our senior year. So we started this interview with talking about the comparison between Shadir uh, uh, Sanders mm -hmm. and, and, and Deion Sanders. Your story is still being written as yeah. we speak. You're heading to the Naval Academy. Uh, you're gonna obviously, you know, play play football. Uh, I'm gonna say that Deion Sanders and your dad's careers probably end on the athletic side. Who could win in a race, your dad or Deion Sanders, if they raced right now? I'm sorry, I gotta give it to Deion. Yeah, I know, right? Even, I even if Deion, yeah. Deion's missing the foot even or toe or something, I think it's I can a, give it's, you. It's a toe. Even if he's short <laughs> a toe. toe. Even if he's short a toe. A couple of toes, I still think. Uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks so much. Appreciate it. What a fantastic story on Gary and Jackson. Gutierrez Jackson heading to the Naval Academy to play football. Yeah, pretty special, Gabe. You know, you and I are both fathers, and we both have kids that play sports. You coach your son. I yeah. coach my son. It's pretty special to be able to get to do that. I know it may be tough for the kids, but as a dad, it's pretty cool. It's fantastic. All right, coming up next, 12's top 12 and week four scores. It's Pick and Pull High School Football Game Day right here on MeTV. It's so easy to love pick and pull. Why? How about the largest inventory in South Texas? How about the ease of finding your part with our interchange and real-time inventory search at pickandpullsa.com? How about an organized yard and maps to find your parts plus a shuttle? At pick and pull, we make it easy to save money on the quality used auto parts you need at a price you can afford. More to pick, less pull for your budget. Now that's pick and pull. The savings keep adding up for Fred Loya customers in Texas. In recent months, people who switched from Geico, Allstate, and Progressive to Fred Loya Insurance saved over $1,700 a year. State Farm customers saved over $1,300 a year. Include the savings of Fred Loya customers from multiple states, and that's a combined savings of over $1.1 million a year. Start paying less for your car insurance. Call or visit FredLoya.com. If you don't call, you don't save. It's hot in Texas, and our electrical grid is getting maxed out. Don't get left in the dark. John Wayne has a full warehouse of standby generators ready for immediate installation. We'll keep the lights on, keep you cool, even if you lose power. And right now, enjoy no payments and no interest for 12 months. That's right, no payments until 2024. For a limited time, when you purchase your standby generator from John Wayne, we'll install a complete home surge protection system for free. Call or text John Wayne today at 293-6700. Welcome back to Pick and Pull High School Football Game Day as we head towards undefeated Jay 
undefeated Warren right here on Me TV. Of course, we are proud of our partnership with KSAT 12. We go through and feature KSAT 12's top 12, and we're going to continue to do that right now, the week four edition of KSAT 12's top 12. In at number 12, the Warren Warriors. We're going to see if they stay put after tonight's contest with the Jay Mustangs right here on Me TV. In at 11, Veterans Memorial, they defeated Canyon Lake last night to improve to 2-2 two and two on the season. We'll talk more about that later. In at number 10, we'll probably see a change at that spot as the Southwest Dragons lost to the Southside Cardinals last night. The ninth-ranked Bernie champion Chargers improved to 4-0 and over after their solid win over the New Braunfels Canyon Cougars. In at number 8, the Wagner Thunderbirds lost a tough one to the 6th-ranked Smithson Valley Rangers last night. Also last night, seventh-ranked Brandeis Broncos, they improved to 3-1 and one after their big win over Legacy High School. In at number six, the Smithson Valley Rangers, as you heard earlier, they improved to 3-1 and one of the season following their victory over eighth-ranked Wagner. The number five-ranked Harlan Hawks stay undefeated following a, a four. They're now at 4-0 oh after their win over O'Connor. Staying put in at number four, the Alamo Heights Mules improving to 4-0 oh on the season as they continue to cruise in 14-5A Division II. Number three ranked Johnson Jaguars were more than likely stay put following their 33-9 win over the Churchill Chargers earlier today. Speaking of a bye week, second ranked Reagan will enjoy some much needed rest this week as they are idle. And 12's top ranked team, the Steel Knights with another huge win over Midland Legacy. I'm guessing next week they will stay you number think, one. You think? I think. I think, I think they, they will. stay number one. Special thanks to Larry Ramirez and, and Mayor Rominger and that entire case at 12 Sports Group for providing us with not only the list but wonderful insight to their list. Okay, let's run down the scores from this week's action, starting with Thursday action. Judson gets a much-needed bounce-back win over Hutto, 29-19. Also, Clemens picks up their first win of the season over Laredo United, 48-20. Burbank with the narrow victory over Highlands, 33-29. The champion Charters improved to 4-0 following their win over New Braunfels Canyon, 34-31. Antonian defeats the Memorial Minutemen, 35-13. We already talked about this one, but Harlan continues their hot start. They beat O'Connor 49 to 12. Last night's scores, how about them Southside Cardinals? 27-7 winners over Southwest. Smithson Valley continues their hot play with a 24-7 win over Wagner. That was a good game last night. And continuing their hot play, Veterans Memorial defeats Canyon Lake 50 to 43. Hey, Shane and I did that game last yes, night. Yes, sir. The Fall City Beavers defeat Flatonia. 14 to 7. Go Beavers. I just like saying Flatonia. The Bernie Greyhound <laughs> stop Gregory Portland 50 to 20. Two big win for the Greyhounds. The Young Men's Leadership Academy all over Maynard New taking a game Gabe did last night, 52 to 6. Steele with the big win over Midland Legacy, 62 to 31. And a much needed win for the East Central Hornets. They defeated Del Rio 27 to nothing. And earlier today, in a Saturday matchup, Johnson defeated Churchill 33 to Two nine Johnson sits atop their district. Churchill, though, that was only their first loss of the season. And looking at a lot of those scores, the one that stands out to me Thursday night, Burbank jumps out to a 14 0 lead. You're thinking they're just going to cruise yep. to a big one over Highlands. Highlands fights back, but Burbank, those great teams always need a gut check win. And I think that may have been Burbank's gut check win yeah that was a good one and they needed it because that proved that they belong the game that shane and i did last night 1100 yards of total offense i mean if you like defensive games that was not the game to watch each team put up over 500 plus yards of total offense how long were you there well actually we weren't there that long i mean really? we, we were done by like 10 20 because they ran they ran all night it was just okay. run 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 so and good game. the south side cardinals southwest comes into this one ranked in 12's top 12 the south side cardinals said no, sir, we're not going to allow you to do that. They win 27-7 yeah. to seven after their week uh, one opening loss to Somerset in the Pixie Classic. Southside playing very good football. Yeah, right and they needed, to, they needed that win big time because they are a good football team. they got a great coach out there, but uh, they've struggled a little bit out of the gate, but picked up a big win last night. All right, we're going to take a break, and, and when we come back, we've got our analysis of John Jay and Warren. Sean, a big game yes. in 29-6A. Both of those teams are undefeated. Predictions, what socks am I wearing? It's Pickable High School Football Game Day right here on Me TV. It's so easy to love pick and pull. Why? How about the largest inventory in South Texas? How about the ease of finding your part with our interchange and real-time inventory search at pickandpullsa.com? How about an organized yard and maps to find your parts, plus a shuttle? At Pick and Pull, we make it easy to save money on the quality used auto parts you need at a price you can afford. More to pick, less pull for your budget. Now that's Pick and Pull. 
dependability. It's expected by our customers, and it's demanded by me. I personally guarantee the certified techs we send to your home and the equipment we install are dependable. John Wayne's American Pride Comfort Systems are designed specifically for San Antonio's extreme heat and humidity and come with a lifetime warranty. Right now, get a complete new system with affordable monthly payments from $72, plus get no interest and no payments for 12 months. For comfort you can depend on, call John Wayne today. I'm Rashad Wisdom. Coach showed us what it takes to win on the field and in life. You've got to have power and determination. You've got to be fearless but smart with a focused strategy. That's what it takes to win, and that's what attorney Wayne Wright's got. Wayne Wright lawyers fight to get you the most money possible. When life knocks you down with a car, motorcycle, or 18-wheeler wreck injury, get a champion. Wayne Wright. Don't wait. Call 8. Call Wayne Wright now. 888-8888. Respect. Justice. Demand it. Wayne Wright injury lawyers. Welcome back to Pick and Bowl High School Football Game Day. Gabe Bunnies and Sean Morris again. Undefeated Jay. Undefeated Warren, both at 3 and 0. A huge 29-6A matchup. Sean, what's going to happen, my friend? Well, let's talk about these two teams. As Gabe said, they come in here at 3 and 0. We're going to start off with the visitors tonight, the John Jay Mustangs. At 3 and 0 under their head coach, Gary Gutierrez, who we saw earlier. They destroyed the O'Connor Panthers last week. 43 to 14 in a game that was over at halftime. I mean, they were just so far ahead of them. They didn't even need to play the second half. On the offensive side, we've been talking about him all night. The quarterback, Jackson Gutierrez, coached by his dad. It's not an easy job, but man, he makes it look easy. Gutierrez has 316 yards passing and three touchdowns. Plus, he likes to run. He's the number two leading rusher for the Mustangs. He's got 320 yards and six touchdowns. The Mustangs ground game does not stop there, though. Their running back, Jack Moda, has 346 yards rushing and six touchdowns as well. He's averaging 10.8 yards per carry. Not bad. Wide receivers Dylan Gordon and Jaden Pritchett, they're the leading receivers for the Mustangs. Uh, Gordon's got 114 yards. Pritchett's got 84, and they've combined for three touchdowns. And they got a big old boy up front on the offensive line, Josiah Kampa, 6'3", 290. So expect to see them running behind him most of the night. On the defensive side, the Mustangs have given up less than 190 yards in their first two opponents, and they held O'Connor to 290 last week. Defensive back Diego Quiroz already has two picks on the year to go along with Carlos Garcia's interception. Defensive lineman Elijah Baldwin and David Narvaez are tackling machines. I expect that they will both be in the backfield a lot tonight. This defense will be challenged tonight, but they have the personnel to make big plays, so I expect John Jay to come out firing on all cylinders tonight. Let's flip over to the home team, the Warren Warriors. They also come into this game with a 3-0 record under their head coach, Josh Littrell. They had no problem last week. They annihilated the Holmes Huskies 73-20. On the offensive side, we've talked about that quarterback on the John Jay Mustangs, which is a pretty good one for the Warren Warriors. Their quarterback, Antonio Meza, he's thrown for 508 yards on just 46 attempts. He's got five touchdowns and one interception. And the guy he loves throwing the ball to, Gabe, is wide receiver Elijah Rialzola. We talked about him earlier. He's got 10 catches for 265 yards and three touchdowns. We're going to see this kid playing college ball next year. He's looking to go to Western Kentucky because he is good. When the Warriors run the ball, Travion Mitchell gets a bulk of the carries. Not a tall guy at all, but he's a wrecking ball. 205 yards on 20 carries. Do the math. That's 10 yards per carry. And he's found the end zone, twi end zone twice already. They like to run behind their big dude. Their right tackle, Devin Amos, 6'4", 250. You can understand why. On the defensive side, their junior linebacker, Karan, uh, Karan Nutter-Holland, has 10 tackles for loss to go along with 28 tackles. Senior linebacker Alec Crosby is a beast as well. He leads the team with 14 solo tackles. Their defensive end, Lee Thompson, is leading the team with five sacks. And Warren is only allowing 217 yards per game to their opponents. That's pretty low. These two teams, Gabe, we talked about, they're both 3-0. and And looking at all the other teams in this district, I believe that they are going to finish both in the top four. And tonight is going to be a brawl. I, I agree with you. A lot of hype on both of these QBs. How good are they? They're both very good. You know, I got to see both these guys play last year. Jackson yeah. Gutierrez, uh, I saw him play one game. I got to see Antonio Meza play about two or three games last year. And I think I did one of his first games when he kind of came out of his shell. And I was yeah. like, man, this kid's good. Both very good quarterbacks. The other thing, too, that they're both really good at, they're both good leaders. And you got to love that with a quarterback. you got to have a quarterback that's a leader. Both of these young men are leaders of their football team, and I love watching them compete. Different styles, though. It seems like Jackson yeah. is a dual threat. Yes. Antonio Mesa is a guy that sits back in the pocket. How important is it for that Jay Devens to put pressure on? Yeah, well, they're going to have to put pressure on, but they're also going to have to cover 
Trevor Rialzola. That kid gets open all the time. He can jump. He's got great hands. I mean, there's a reason people are scouting him. Um, they're going to have to put pressure on him. But, yeah, you're right, two different quarterbacks, but both fun to watch. So you kind of stole half of my follow-up question, which is <laughs> we all know about Gutierrez. We yeah. all know about Mesa, the other guys. To me, the other guy for John Jay is Jack Mota. Yes. Real Zola is the other guy for Warren. they got to get big games out of those guys. They do, and Jack Mota was really good last year. I mean, he came out last year and had a really solid season, and it was kind of the dual threat, kind of what they did this year. It's him and Gutierrez. You don't know who's going to have the ball and who's going to run it. They're both solid at that position because Gutierrez likes to run. Real Zola is just a – he's a star, man. I think he's probably one of the best receivers in town right now, and, and I'm excited to watch him play tonight and to see him play next year as well. Argument to be made, though, that both of these teams are undefeated because of their defenses and the play of their defenses. In a nutshell, tell me about both of their defenses. Right yeah, there. I mean, you know, you're looking at, at uh, the defense of, of the Mustangs. They gave up less than 190 yards in their first two games and only 290 last week to O'Connor. And then you flip over, like I said, uh, Warren only giving up 217 yards per game. I mean, that's pretty solid defense. 190, 217, they're kind of right in the same ballpark. So both really good defenses, and they're going to have to step up tonight because there's two pretty good offenses. The importance of special teams, turnovers, yes. and just taking care of the football. Protect the football. We've seen so many turnovers all season. they got to protect the ball. Sean, it's time. Who's going to win this football game? Well, I've got a close one tonight. You're probably not going to like it, but I got Warren winning this one 35-32. to 32. I think it's going to be come down to a field goal. I, I think both of these teams are as evenly matched, so my socks will be the color of the team that I'm – oh, I almost lost balance. And what do we have That'll here? Have been fun. We've got the John J. Oh. Blue, my friend, and they are fresh and ripe. I've been wearing them all week after see. our outside yeah. the locker room taping. The John J. Mustangs, 35-28. to 28. That's mm, going to wrap up this edition of – High School Football Game Day presented by Pick and Pull for Sean Morris. I'm Gabe Farias. Don't go anywhere. Game Day, Jay and Warren for the entire Game Day crew. For Sean Morris, I'm Gabe Farias saying check out the game. Good night, everybody. It's so easy to love Pick and Pull. Why? How about the largest inventory in South Texas? How about the ease of finding your part with our interchange in real-time inventory search at pickandpullsa.com? How about an organized yard and maps to find your parts, plus a shuttle? At Pick and Pull, we make it easy to save money on the quality used auto parts you need at a price you can afford. More to pick, less pull from your budget. Now that's Pick and Pull. If you don't mean it, it's just words. Well, integrity... It's basically loyalty to be good when no one is watching, so you should do it because you know it's right. It's hot in Texas, and our electrical grid is getting maxed out. Don't get left in the dark. John Wayne has a full warehouse of standby generators ready for immediate installation. We'll keep the lights on, keep you cool, even if you lose power. And right now, enjoy no payments and no interest for 12 months. That's right, no payments until 2024. For a limited time, when you purchase your standby generator from John Wayne, we'll install a complete home surge protection system for free. Call or text John Wayne today at 293-6700. And good evening, everyone, and welcome to Gustafson Stadium for our Saturday night contest. It's the high school football showcase, and it's a battle for the top of District 29-6A as the Jay Mustangs take on the Warren Warriors. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to our broadcast here tonight on MeTV. Bobby Stotzenberg along with Andy Skelton, and we've got a great contest for you here tonight. Both teams 3-0 on the season. Both teams 1-0 in district play. Both teams playing well. Both teams 
with outstanding senior quarterbacks, arguably two of the best senior quarterbacks in all of San Antonio going at it tonight. Yeah, we're going to be in for a treat tonight, folks. we got these two senior quarterbacks. we got two undefeated teams fighting for district positioning at the top. Uh, these kids, Bobby, uh, they're neighbors. They played together uh, with the junior Mustangs, a lot of them. Uh, the quarterback for uh, the Warren Warriors was at Jay as a freshman. So, I mean, these kids know each other. They know what's on the line, and, and both these teams are playing really, really good football right now. Antonio Meza, the quarterback of Warren, had a great season a year ago, statistically right up there with Ashton DeBose throwing the football. And this year, almost 700 yards passing through three games. That's pretty, yeah. that's going to get your attention. Jackson Gutierrez has improved as a thrower for the Jay Mustangs. He's always been a deadly runner. This year is no different. He's averaging a whopping 21 yards <laughs> a carry. He's over 300 yards rushing on just 15 carries this season. So, if Jackson Gutierrez runs the football, a big play is likely to happen. Well, and both these quarterbacks had another year in the weight room. Uh, they're all grown up. You know, Jackson Gutierrez, big kid. He's about 210, 205. He's hard to bring down. Uh, headed to Navy, Naval Academy. Uh, you know, and you got Mesa on the other side. Or he's looking at some some colleges. Western Kentucky, I believe, is interested. So both these quarterbacks are, have their eyes on playing at the next level. But tonight, they're trying to get their team in position to be at the top of the district race. It's a lot of challenges for the, both defenses, really. <laughs> it's going to be fun to watch. And again, a lot of, lot of physicality. I'm telling you right now, you're going to see a lot of physicality out of both teams, a little chippiness, uh, the way it should be, some old school vibe to it. Uh, if you're into the old school defense and the physicality of the game and not worried about, oh, my God, he put hands. They're going to put hands on each other tonight, folks. Uh, and it's going to be a good old-fashioned West Side Street fight here tonight. All right, folks, the winner stays in first place here in 29-6A. Stick around. Up next, we'll have our keys to victory when the High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company continues on Me TV. It's high school football time, and John Wayne is right in the middle of the action. At the end of this game, one of the players will be chosen as the John Wayne player of the game. Go to johnwayne.com right now and vote for the player who you think will win. Pick the correct player, and you'll win two tickets to a San Antonio Gunslingers home game. And just for playing, you'll have a chance to win the John Wayne $10,000 home makeover package. Don't fumble. Go to johnwayne.com and vote before the end of the game. I'm Oscar Cardenas. In football, we fight hard to make it happen. That's what makes us winners. 18-wheeler or company vehicle wreck injury put you on the sidelines? Get a winner to fight for you. A lawyer with grit and determination who will not stop until you get justice and all the money you deserve. And that's Wainwright Injury Lawyers, so don't wait. Call 8. Call Wainwright Injury Lawyers. 888-8888 now. Want to win? You know who to call. That's right, Wainwright. Respect. Justice. Demand it. Wainwright Injury Lawyers. San Antonio is about creating an amazing living experience for their residents. An experience that isn't perfectly described with words, but is felt the minute you walk through their doors. They strive to maintain an environment where memories are built and life happens. Their team applies advanced education and real-world experience to provide excellent real estate services in acquisitions, asset management, development, and investment. Learn more at lynd.com. Lind, your home, our passion. Welcome back here to uh, Gus Stadium, where it's a very cool, almost cold, 85 degrees here in early di early uh, September. As Gabe Farias down on the sideline, a little more comfortable for the big fella. He has tonight's 
John Jay Mustangs, hey, keys to victory. Hang on a second. I'm putting on my jacket right quick, guys. <laughs> the John Jay Mustangs have got to put pressure on quarterback Mesa. He's fantastic. But if they let him sit in that pocket, look out. they got to force turnovers, steal a possession. And like Johnny and June Carter Cash said, we go on to Jackson. Jackson Gutierrez needs a big Big game, guys. All right, Andy Skelton up in the booth has the Warren Warriors. Well, pretty keys much to victory. Pretty much the opposite of what exactly what Gabe just said right there. Tempo of the game obviously is going to be, but protect Mesa, uh, keep the Mustangs defense off of him, uh, and then you know the third phase of the game that we sometimes forget about. Gabe, the, the special teams yeah, going to come hey. into play here tonight. Well, I'll tell you what, this district in 29-6A been really dominated by Brennan the last three seasons, but. They're still very, very good, but I think there's a lot of teams that have a chance at the district title this season, and these two on the field here tonight are both contenders. We'll be back. We'll have the kickoff in just a moment. Jay versus Warren. It's the High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV. Keep adding up for Fred Loya customers in Texas. In recent months, people who switched from Geico, Allstate, and Progressive to Fred Loya Insurance saved over $1,700 a year. State Farm customers saved over $1,300 a year. Include the savings of Fred Loya customers from multiple states, and that's a combined savings of over $1.1 million a year. Start paying less for your car insurance. Call or visit FredLoya.com. If you don't call, you don't save. of San Antonio is about creating an amazing living experience for their residents. An experience that isn't perfectly described with words, but is felt the minute you walk through their doors. They strive to maintain an environment where memories are built and life happens. Their team applies advanced education and real-world experience to provide excellent real estate services in acquisitions, asset management, development, and investment. Learn more at lynd.com. Lind, your home, our passion. Dr. Mercer, Dr. Fulton, with the family. Yeah, we can wait. Foster families not paid. 47 claims of employees not being paid. We have to speak up and we have to keep fighting. Kingshat investigates the troubling closure of Lone Star Social Services and the corporation behind the decision. Absolutely. Can't make you get off public property. I'm not even going to try. I do know that Dr. Mercer said uh, that he's not going to comment. The answer will always be no comment. Stream Kingshat's full investigation now on these platforms. here to Gustafson Stadium, our national anthem performed by the Warren Warrior Band. We had a, a little bit of a strange uh, occurrence here. The ROTC for Warren is on the field right now, and one of the kiddos, uh, I think maybe Andy got a little overheated. It's still really, yeah, it's really hot. humid, even though it's not the scorching temperatures that we had 
in the first couple of weeks of the season. It is still very humid and very difficult, especially when you're dressed in those those heavy uniforms like they have. Well, and they stand at attention with those knees locked. You hear stories in the military all the time, and she's up on her feet right now. I think she's fine, and Dr. Garcia's down there, and training staff's checking her out, and I think she's going to be fine. I, I think, like you said, she just fell out. Uh, Poor you know, lady. And again, Poor young lady. Those, hey, it's one of those deals, though. Bless that, her heart. Yeah, bless her heart. She's going to be fine, though. And, Again, like I said, great job responding by both training staffs. And again, there's a, a medical doctor down there as well, Dr. Garcia, the team doctor for Jay Mustangs, checking on her. I think, I think we're going to be all right. Yeah, guys, you know, we, we, we talk about them and we see them going to action all the time on the field with the football players. But, man, we don't give the training staff enough, enough credit. And, you know, the, the training staffs came into play last year when Tamar Hamlin went down, when his heart literally stopped in the middle of a Monday night football game and it was those it was those first responders those 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 team doctors those, those trainers that got on him and quite frankly saved his life it was man it was it was it was terrible to see her fall but it was great to see the training staff get on her quick well unsung heroes Andy of this yeah. deal they they uh they work really hard to keep these kids safe there's lots of moving parts in a high school football game besides the football game and, and Gabe you absolutely alluded to one part that's critical behind the scenes they do a great job keeping trying to keep everybody safe and and uh you know again the warmth out here and, and the kiddos in the the military outfit and stuff it's hot that's it's a, hot not just for the football guys but for the band and everybody else guys that's a that's a wool that's a full uh air force wool uniform that they're wearing i mean yeah the wind's blowing it's a little cooler but still i gotta tell you man you know hats off and and hearts out to those kiddos that go out and do this and andy like you say so many moving parts to a high school football game great to see the training staff out there as quickly as they were and she's on the bench getting hydrated and she got her coat off so i think she's going to be fine here as we get ready to kick this one off though we got a yeah, Warren, got a good one here tonight bobby yeah the warren warriors home team tonight here at gus as uh, this is the home facility for both schools they will have henry pence uh, kicking it off the uh, warriors three and oh the mustangs three and oh both teams 1-0 in district, Dylan Gordon, Jaden Pritchett, and Diego Quiroz are the deep return men for the Jay Mustangs dressed in white tonight. They are a dangerous return, guys. I don't know if they, they're going to kick to them or not here. Let's a, find out. A 10-yard approach here by Pence, and he will pop it up short, taken at the 20-yard line. Coming right is Pritchett. Back up the middle he goes and returns it out to the 36 yard line. So Jay has it first, as we'll see Jackson Gutierrez and the Mustangs come out. Jack Moda, another veteran at running back. Guller, Quiroz, and Gordon, the receivers. Baldwin, Walker, Vicuña, Campa, Reyes, and Lopez up front for that Jay offensive line. They have been explosive this year, scoring 49, 29, and 43 points in their first three games as Gutierrez will launch one deep on the first play, a little too far for Diego Quiroz and it's second down. The Warriors defensively, Thompson, Rios, Fernandez, and Nutter Holland up front. Jones, Sanchez, and Crosby, the linebackers, and watch out for that strong safety. Nate Robinson, number 25, he is an outstanding talent. Ross, Martinez, and Silva join him in the secondary for the Warriors. They crowd the lineup, line of scrimmage a bit, as the handoff goes to Moda, trying to get the corner, does, cuts it upfield, and is near a Mustang first down. That's a great job by by uh, Jack Mota. There's two Motas, Zach and Jack. That's Jack number four here, as we see the Wainwright Lawyers replay. Great job getting outside, extending the play, and going get nine and a half yards. They're going to say he got the first down. So right at 10 yards on that game. Yeah, and, and guys, you know, we, we talked about the, these two quarterbacks, and, and as fantastic as they are, I'm thinking the other guys are going to be the guys that are the difference makers. Mota is certainly th that other guy for the J Mustangs. Well, they got their heavy set in here too, Bobby. Number 99, Jaden Simmons, defensive tackles lined up at fullback. It's a load. Ball at the 46-yard line, Mota straight ahead. Tripped up, falling forward for a gain of eight. He almost broke free right there to get through. And again, he is not a real big kid. Jack Moda is, but he is quick and elusive and hides behind those bigs up front for the Mustangs. He was an ankle tackle away, Andy, from getting a whole lot of yards, my friend. He's an explosive talent, too. Jack Moda, 32 carries, 346 yards, 
a 10.8 yard average this year coming in with six touchdowns. They're gonna give it off on the jet sweep to Gordon. Gordon has the first down all the way down to the Warrior 39. Nice steady drive here to start things for the Mustangs. Yeah, I like the play call so far by offensive coordinator Kevin Poor for the Mustangs. They're kind of doing a little this, that, and the other. They haven't uh, opened it up for Jackson Gutierrez to take off running yet. They hadn't had to. They give it off to Gordon and they gave it off to Mota. And again, they had their heavy set in there with the big old 99. Jaden Simmons in the ball game, and it's kind of a fullback type, but now they're back to their spread personnel here. Twins tight to each side. Gutierrez will throw underneath behind his receiver, Quiroz, and incomplete. And Andy, one thing that really jumps out when you look at Jay, if you just glance at their roster, you see a lot of seniors. As this is a team that's been together for a while, and they perform very, very well together as freshmen. They have stuck right. together, and this is their season, they believe. Yeah, and you see Coach Gutierrez right there. And again, both teams actually are senior heavy. That's what's going to be great about tonight's ball game. Moda right play. ahead, and then busts it outside, has a first down to the sidelines, and finally brought down at the 16-yard line by Nick Ross, but another <laughs> rip-roaring run there by Jack Moda. He ran right out of his shoe right here. Watch him make the cut. Oh, now he's running with one shoe, and he's still got yardage after the catch. Low pads, being the hammer, not the nail at the end of that run right there. Great job, Jack Mota. And, and, and Skelly, that's just, that's just hat on hat yeah, up man. front. And, and Jay winning the battle. Tell you what about the Jay Mustangs, man. They're a blue collar, bring you sack lunch to work kind of kiddos. Uh, you heard in your, your little deal that you did on Gutierrez and his dad. I mean, yeah. they're just blue collar. They show up, they persevere, and they rise to the top when it hits adversity. Handoff, nope, Gutierrez. And Warren scouted that one out because they faked it to Nick Rios. And everybody collapsed on Jackson Gutierrez. That's going to yeah. cut, that's going to diminish his 21 yard per carry average a little bit. Yeah, he's killing his average. He's also going to kill his physicality right there, running into a brick wall up front there. Those guys in purple, nothing doing. He wasn't reading that. That was a run all the way right there, but nothing doing. Great job by the Warrior defensive line. They're going to have to keep Jackson Gutierrez under wraps all night. That so far, so good on that first one. Moto's back in at running back for the Mustangs. It's second down and 10. Gutierrez drops back, fires it across the middle, and is caught on the run, and Dylan Gordon to the corner. Touchdown, Jay Mustangs, 16 yards. Dylan Gordon, man, I tell you what, where was he lined up? I think he was the inside receiver to the right side here. If we see the replay, just runs right past the linebackers in stride here. Great ball coming right at us. Great camera angle right here. And again, everybody's just taking chase. Great job running to the corner of the pylon. Kelly, this is a very complete offense. And as far as Jackson Gutierrez goes, they just want him to do just enough because you know he's going to kill you with his legs. Swinging gate. Now, this They're is armadillo is what they call this. They're going to run it as Gutierrez <laughs> with a two-point conversion. And it's eight to nothing. Mustang strike first. You're watching the High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV. It's hot in Texas, and our electrical grid is getting maxed out. Don't get left in the dark. John Wayne has a full warehouse of standby generators ready for immediate installation. We'll keep the lights on, keep you cool, even if you lose power. And right now, enjoy no payments and no interest for 12 months. That's right, no payments until 2024. For a limited time, when you purchase your standby generator from John Wayne, we'll install a complete home surge protection system for free. Call or text John Wayne today at 293-6700. I'm Rashad Wisdom. Coach showed us what it takes to win on the field and in life. You've got to have power and determination. you got to be fearless but smart with a focused strategy. That's what it takes to win, and that's what attorney Wayne Wright's got. Wayne Wright lawyers fight to get you the most money possible. When life knocks you down with a car, motorcycle, or 18-wheeler wreck injury, get a champion. Wayne Wright. Don't wait. Call 8. Call Wayne Wright now. 888-8888. Respect. Justice. Demand it. Wayne Wright Injury Lawyers. The Jay Mustangs get off to a great start there, a seventh play. And here's that. Uh, Not enough bodies right conversion. here again, that swinging gate. They didn't have enough bodies out there to count for the quarterback and right there take advantage of it. And that one point, Bobby, that eight point instead of seven point could raise its head here at the end of this thing. And great job 
by the Jay Mustangs, Coach Gary Gutierrez, and, and special teams coach Chad Rodriguez. Those guys know what they're doing, and they took advantage of it right there on the first drive. And so far, Gabe, the Mustangs looking yeah. in stride. And, and that's just a read. I mean, they, they get up to the line of scrimmage. They see that if, if they're man to man covered, you go into a conventional point after attempt. Gutierrez saw he didn't have a head on him. He took it in. Jacob Quinlan's going to kick it off here for Jay, and he boots this one deep. Go, a good go. kick. It will go into the end zone. That drive by the uh, Warren Warriors was seven plays, 64 yards, 16 yards on the pass from Jackson Gutierrez to Dylan Gordon for the touchdown. And here come the Warriors, going to try to match it. And again, trying to see Antonio Mesa coming out for his first possession of the night with his offense here as they huddle up from the sideline, similar to what the Mustangs do here on the opening drive here. Break the huddle from the sideline. Watch number 11, folks. He's had a great career to lead this offense onto the field. And Travion Mitchell will be his running back in the backfield. He's got 242 yards rushing this year for the Warriors. Trips left, and they are going to send a man in motion. Mesa under center. Going to run the draw play. And a light, big hole for Mitchell as he gets out to the 40 yard line. All right, hold on to your hats, folks. We're going to be in for a track meet tonight, I think, right there. Great job. First call right out the deal here as we have the starting offense. Mesa, the quarterback, Mitchell, the running back. Real Zola, Davis, Ramos, the receivers. Jones, Magana, Magana, Gonzalez, Flores, and Garcia, along with Amos up front. I think we had an extra lineman in there. I think the, our graphic should say a tight end there as Mesa get hit as he throws, and the ball is intercepted. And with the ball is Elijah Baldwin, and he's taking it down the sidelines, and he steps out of bounds, but Mesa was hit. The ball flew up in the yeah. air, and Elijah Baldwin was right there to get the INT. That was uh, number 97, I believe, Leandro Holland for the Mustangs here. Let's see the replay. He hits Mesa just as he throws it. Great job coming up in there and, and, and hawking the ball was Elijah Baldwin. Turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. Andy, we talked about stealing a possession of you, the Jay Mustangs, and putting pressure on Mesa. They did both on that play. Well, there's the stealing of possession, as you said, and the young man, Elijah Baldwin, he's actually listed as a tight end, and he just ran into the game to play tight end, but he was at defensive end on that when he got the pick. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of kids going both ways, for, especially for the Jay Mustangs tonight. Let's see if they take a shot to the end zone right here. Sudden change kind of mentality here for offensive coordinator Kevin Poor. See what he dials up right here. Heavy sets back in the game with Jaden Simmons, number 99 at the fullback. Jack Boda at running back. And they shift the H back over. They fake the jet sweep and they give uh -oh. him. Oh, good right back. Fumbles it and Warren recovers it. Gave it right back to him right there. Jackson Gutierrez was trying to get it up in there and he took a hit right on the football. See the play right here to see who causes the fumble right here bam that's number six coming in there putting his head biting the football Alex Crosby and it was recovered by Nate Robinson but Crosby helmet right on the football well tit for tat I don't think no harm no foul right here there they got the ball on their own nine yard line here what, yes, what, what you just saw guys are two things you don't see a whole lot of that's a Mesa interception and a Jackson Gutierrez fumble that's rare and we're back to normal here and that was playmaking by the defense as opposed to mistakes by the quarterbacks. Physicality of the game, we talked about it. From the nine, Mesa has Mitchell behind him. He'll hand to Mitchell. Straight ahead he goes. Churning, burning out to the 15. He's a big, big running back. Yeah, great job after contact, man. He went ahead and dragged him another four yards after contact right there. Good job by Travion Mitchell. There's your defense for Jay Ramirez and Baldwin on the ends. Lee and Holland, the tackles. Moda, Canyon, Garza, and Urbina, the linebackers. Kiros, Robertson, Gordon in the secondary. Again, it's Mitchell, and again, it's good yardage. And he is not going down without a fight. Out to the 32. What a run. Yeah, he's five foot six, Bobby, but he's about 205, and that's what you call. Uh, bowling ball type running back right here. And again, after contact, watch what he does after contact right here. I mean, he's Strength. taking him another five yards. And again, talking to defensive coordinator for the John J. Mustangs, Nelson Barnes. I asked him, what do they got? He said, they got these bowling ball running backs. We're going to have to play physical. Uh, and so far, again, 
Great job by Travion Mitchell. Yards after contact, man. He's making a living. Hard Rock mining. Both these teams are physical. Mesa under center now. Lorenzo Ramirez is the running back. A two by two set. He'll throw it out to the right flat. It is caught. Up the sidelines goes Davis. Enough speed to turn the corner and get close to a Warrior first down. I tell you what, they're just playing a little two on two game out there. Two receivers against two defenders out there. And great job after catching the ball, giving it to an athlete in space. Isaiah Davis is able to go get some yardage after that catch right there. Good ball by Mesa. That, that, that looks easy, but it's not easy to get that ball out there like that and get it out of your hand. He kind of threw it like a shortstop turning a double play. Mitchell is back in, I believe, at running back. Or is that Ramirez still? It might be Ramirez. Mesa sends a man in motion, and he hands it off, and that is Ramirez. And he is blown up at the line of scrimmage, did not get the first down. Let's see if they bring big number five back in. A great job by 18 Farron Canyon facing him up right here. Force with force, form fit tackle right there, no first down. Mazo on the quarterback sneak, and there's flags that they might have moved early. Yeah, a little bit of discombobulation from the get. Well, third and one's now third and six. They kind of hurried themselves into a penalty there a little bit. I understand trying to catch him off guard, but you got to be ready. Well, that eliminates the uh, possibility of a quarterback sneak. That was Michael Erdialis, tonight's referee, joined by Joseph Del Degadai. De Gal De Spit it out, Bob. I can't say Come that. Come on, name. Bob, you got it. Degollado, excuse me, the umpire. Matthew Carrera, the head linesman. Zachary Erdales, the line judge, as they will hand the ball off. That's a bit of a surprise on third down as they give to Ramirez. I'm, are you surprised well, by the call? Going for that four down territory right here. I don't see nobody shuffling over for punt team. It's a tough spot to go for it on fourth down, Andy. Degollado, Gabe. Degollado. Degollado. There you go. John Mays Thompson, the back judge, the field judge, Andrew Garza, and the side judge is Jonathan Ulrich. For maybe a hard count here. Perhaps. Fourth and one, and they snap it, and they hand it off on the draw play, but Jay was in the backfield with penetration, and Steven Garcia stops him for a loss. Trying to run the spread draw. Navarez as well. Navarez. Yeah, Narvaez, great job penetrating right there, blowing it up. And again, fourth down. Hey, man, punting's overrated. A lot of these coaches nowadays, statistically, if you do the research, you know, inside your own 40, though, I don't know, but woulda, coulda, shoulda, and Jay Mustangs took advantage of it right here. Yeah, shocked that Travion Mitchell wasn't on the field for that play. Yeah, I wonder what his status is, because he had a no couple nice runs, yeah. and then he came out of the game. Well, the, the John Jay defense is making adjustments, too. They got ripped three times on that sprint draw, not this time. They just went ahead and slanted the field right there. Great adjustment by the Mustang defense. Mustangs handed off to Rona, and he is thrown to the turf by Andrew Martinez after a gain of two. Yeah, they're playing physical. Mota got there, and then he got suplexed. Little wrestling move right here at the end of it by uh, Andrew Martinez. Gabe, that, that procedure penalty really hurt the Warriors there because they would have had the first down. Yeah, the procedure penalty going forward on fourth down. Coach Littrell rolling the dice this early in the game. But I agree with Andy on this one thing. Punting is overrated. Trips left. Gutierrez hands to Moda again. Once again, he's met by Andrew Martinez. Those two have gone nose to nose two plays in a row, and Martinez comes away with a football, but Moda was marked down at the 35. It's almost like they're, that's his job right there. Andrew Martinez spying on Jack Mota. They met on the last two plays so far. Tell you what, Jackson Gutierrez is getting a workout. He's going to get in the play on the sideline and running all the way back to the huddle. Keeps him fresh. Keeps him in shape. Yeah, keeps him in shape. That's what he gets for being a coach's keeps, kid. Not, not necessarily fresh, but loose. <laughs> Third and seven. Warren coming on a blitz. Gutierrez rolls left and fires it downfield. And it's too far from Micah Roberts and incomplete. And now Gary Gutierrez has to s decide whether to go for it on fourth down. Yeah, guys, the wind is blowing. If you look at the flags, it's blowing from north to south at a pretty rapid pace. And 
You know, you saw that opening kickoff for John Jay sail through the back of the end zone. The wind is, the wind is definitely in play right now. Maybe going for it. Punting is overrated. <laughs> Fourth and seven, they will go for it. It is no man's land. Gutierrez rolls left. Fires on the run, has a man broken up though. Great, Great play. Defense. Julius Jones punched it loose. Yeah, trying to get it to Dylan Gordon. And again, ball was on the spot, had his hands on it, but Julius Jones gets in there. Let's watch the replay right here, right behind what seeing what Jackson Gutierrez is seeing here. And right at the end, great job coming in there, busting it up. Julius Jones with the pass breakup. Boy, this has been some fun football. I know we played about what? Let's see, 12, 10, 9, 8, about eight minutes worth of football, man. And, and I'm telling you right now, it's going to be a fun one to watch, guys. It's fun to hear you do math out loud. In on my fingers. Like, I people like are looking at me like, why are you wiggling your fingers? <laughs> also, my, also, I call them my hand piggies, right? Travion Mitchell is back in the game now, running back. Jay stacking the line for him. The play action for Mesa. Been a chunk one deep. Has a man. Well, no call there. Had his and hand on his back. Didn't get the call, though. Yeah, it looked like he might have held up uh, Rio Zola a little bit. You got Dylan Gordon in coverage right here again. Mesa, they're taking a shot after the. Yeah, didn't get the call right there. From down here, it looked like pass interference, but uh, you guys got a better look at it from up there. I don't know if it was passing. They might have been holding, is what I. Yeah, he had his hand on his back a little yeah. bit, but I mean, let him play. I'm well, in. Just yeah. call it both ways now. Good play then by Dylan Gordon, as it turns out. Back to Mitchell on the ground, and he's blown up again by David Nervaez. Two plays in a row by him. Folks, we will have a John Wayne player of the game at the end of this contest. You can participate. Go online, vote for your player of the game, match ours, and you win two tickets to see the San Antonio Gunslingers Arena Football. And you have a chance to win a $10,000 home makeover just by participating. Third down here for the Warriors. Jay defense playing pretty well here Both so far. Both these defenses, yeah, it's been just what we expected. Uh oh Bad snap, Mesa. Can he get there before uh -oh. the defense does? He does. Oh, my. We jinxed him. Well, I think we're going to have a punt now. I don't think yeah. Josh Littrell is going to go for it now. I don't know. Andy is punting overrated now. Not when the, not when the snap goes 60 yards over your quarterback's okay, head. Okay, okay. Well, <laughs> now, this is a... First miscue of the game. This is, a, this is an area where Warren does not have a lot of experience on their offensive line. It's nice to have a quarterback that's a returning starter for three years, but yeah. that's a new offensive They're line. They're 3-0, though. Let's don't yeah. get too carried away with that. That was just a bad snap. Let's and, move on. And, and this wind is blowing right in the punter's face, guys. Jay could get this in great field position. Henry Pence to punt. Eight to nothing Mustangs. We got Jackson or uh, Diego Quito's uh, back deep. This time a little bit of a high snap and a knuckleball into that win. But it does take a Warriors roll. The Mustangs will have it when we return with more of the High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV. It's so easy to love pick and pull. Why? How about the largest inventory in South Texas? How about the ease of finding your part with our interchange in real-time inventory search at pickandpullsa.com? How about an organized yard and maps to find your parts plus a shuttle? At Pick and Pull, we make it easy to save money on the quality used auto parts you need at a price you can afford. More to pick, less pull for your budget. Now that's Pick and Pull. There's nothing more Texas than high school football. It's where families and communities come together. It's the pageantry of the game, the marching band, the dance team, the spirit group. A tradition and history unmatched anywhere in America. Great athletes, great games and one of the best entertainment values for your dollar. Show pride in your school and let's celebrate our common bond. Come, Come to, to the games. games. Come, Come to, to the, the games. games. There's nothing like being there and seeing Texas high school football. Come, Come to, to the games. games. So after a short punt, the Mustangs get good field position again. They start at the 41. Good get us. Hands it off. Jet sweep, Pritchett. Oh. Can't get to the edge and drug down by George Silva. That's what you want out of your defense right there. Keep stringing it, keep stringing it. Eventually you run out of real estate right there and 
Gets him for a minimal gain of about one, one and a half yards on that. Guys, we talked about offensive fireworks, certainly Jay's first drive, but the defenses have come to play tonight. It's going to come down to miscues. We saw one major miscue so far by Warren, that bad snap over Mesa's head. And... Yeah, miscues, Andy, but converting on those miscues. Jack Moda off to the right of Jackson Gutierrez. He'll take the handoff, and he is met hard at the 39-yard line. Good tackle there by Alec Crosby. He's been active. Yeah, and again, second-level guys, and Mota getting behind those big offensive linemen, able to make a cut for about three yards, but great job staying at home. That was a shot, guys. That's a, that's a collision if I've seen one. You see Jackson Gutierrez. Yeah, you got back and forth. To the, you got you, Kevin. You got Kevin Poor in the, in the offensive coordinator in the box, and you got Josh Riley giving the play to Jackson Gutierrez, who runs it out to the huddle. You should get the right play in with your quarterback running it in. Gutierrez on play action has a man oh. wide open and throws it off of Elijah Baldwin. Had him hit him in a bad spot right in the hands. Great play call right there. And again, you know he. Baldwin wants that one back. He had room to run after the catch, too. Yeah, it looks like they're going to play the field position game, and, and I agree with this call by, by Coach Gutierrez. This is kind of one of those tweener spots on the field. It, it, at least right now, it looks like they're going to punt the football. Well, Gutierrez is the punter. Yeah, if you want to be nitpicky, J uh, Jackson fired it pretty hard there, but you still got to catch that ball if you're the receiver. So Jackson Gutierrez backs up in the punt position on fourth and eight. And he will punt it away towards the sidelines. And too far to the sidelines. It hits in lane one on the track. Yeah, there's not going to be maybe a 15-yard punt, maybe. I made a fair oh. catch because that thing was punted right at me. Like a 12-yard, not even that, 10-yard yeah, punt. Uh, Gabe, I know you spent a lot of time on the track. I, I did in the big man relays. Growing up, <laughs> that was the anchor of the big man relay. Were you the guy at the back of the tug of war in I was, elementary? I was they the guy. They tied the was, rope around? No, I was the guy that was running in the big man relay, finishing in last with the announcer going, come on, everybody, give this guy a round of applause. He's going to pass out and probably die before he gets to the finish line. But And I was the guy that they would cheer for that was kind of wheezing all the way to the finish line. <laughs> From the 26. And they hand the ball off to Mitchell, and that might do it here in the first as Warren They've been a little conservative, but Mitchell's ripped off some nice runs, but not that time. Well, I guess four yards isn't yeah, bad. I was gonna say, that's winning on first down. Five yards. <laughs> that's a good run in my, in my book. That'll do it here in the first. After one, it's the Jay Mustangs eight, the Warren Warriors zero. This is the High School Football Showcase, presented by John Wayne Service Company on BTV. Dependability. It's expected by our customers, and it's demanded by me. I personally guarantee the certified techs we send to your home and the equipment we install are dependable. John Wayne's American Pride Comfort Systems are designed specifically for San Antonio's extreme heat and humidity and come with a lifetime warranty. Right now, get a complete new system with affordable monthly payments from $72, plus get no interest and no payments for 12 months. For comfort you can depend on, call John Wayne today. I'm Oscar Cardenas. In football, we fight hard to make it happen. That's what makes us winners. 18-wheeler or company vehicle wreck injury put you on the sidelines? Get a winner to fight for you. A lawyer with grit and determination who will not stop until you get justice and all the money you deserve. And that's Wainwright Injury Lawyers, so don't wait. Call 8. Call Wainwright Injury Lawyers. 888-8888 now. Want to win? You know who to call. That's right, Wainwright. Respect. Justice. Demand it. Wainwright Injury Lawyers. On air, online, or in person. The 2023 KSAT Pigskin Classic was one for the history books. Once again, KSAT and TSP brought you the best high school football in South Texas. More action, more thrills, and more team spirit. From the KSAT Insider Party I think it's really epic. to the stands, to the field, the excitement was electric. San Antonio, let's do it again next year. The KSAT Pigskin Classic. 300,000. 300,000. 300,000. That's how many of you are subscribed to the KSAT 12 YouTube channel. And what do you get? 
more in-depth stories and unique specials, more newscasts on your time, more local sports, more eats, and more popular videos tailor-made for your busy schedule. Want to know what you're missing? Subscribe today to find out. Welcome back to Gus Stadium. Bobby Stotzenberg along with Andy Skelton and Gabe Padillas. Travion Mitchell with five carries for 43 yards in the first quarter for Warren. Jack Moda has six carries for 47 for the Jay Mustangs who lead it eight to nothing. We start the second and it's second and five Warriors. Mesa in trouble early, boy. No chance there. They came, they brought it, and they got to him in a hurry. Hurry, and Jaden Simmons has himself a sack. There you go, Jaden Simmons been playing a little fullback on the offensive side. Gets him some action right here, coming right at you. Blows right by his guy, wow. puts his helmet right on Mesa, plants him in the turf for a two-yard loss right there. Skelly, he never got to set himself up even to throw the ball. It, it was sudden. Again, that defense for Jay blowing and going, and why not? Andy, very athletic on, the, on both sides of the football for the Jay Mustangs. Physical, athletic. Third down here and long for the Warriors. Third and 12. Mesa directing traffic, but the pocket collapses again. He's sacked again. Yep, Zach Mota this time, number three. Nelson Barnes, defensive coordinator for Jay, dials up just a regular old gap blitz right here. And they play pretty basic. You see number three coming in right here. That's Zach Mota, brother of Jack Mota, number four. Yeah, Mesa saw something. He had a receiver break late. He was wide open. He kind of signaled him to go down the field, and he just ran out of time. Man. Yeah, and I, I think that inexperienced offensive line, Andy, is at least up till this point in the game is showing. Yeah, you see Zach Mota right there. And again, he's just like his brother. They're twins, y'all, and they're built the same. And one's on defense, one's on offense. And that time it was Zach, brother Zach, bringing it down. About a 10 to 12 mile an hour wind here for Pence to punt with and lets it fly. Good punt, fair catch, called for and made by Diego Quiros at the 37 yard line. Well, that was a great possession by the J defense. Two sacks forced the punt right now. Andy, are you somebody who describes wind by miles per hour or by knots? Depends on where I'm at. Okay, you're on a football field. Uh, miles an hour. Okay, you're on a ship. Most people don't know what a knot is. Yeah, uh, nautical mile typically those. And all right. What if you're on a bicycle? 1.8625 1. miles an hour to a knot, I believe, is the conversion. Or Don Knotts, it's, the actor. It's close. <laughs> Spelled with a K, though. Yeah, same. Moda, straight ahead. In traffic, has a gain of eight yards. That's Jack Mota. Back to more of the same right there, and why not? Get behind the big old offensive lineman of the Jay Mustangs. You got uh, Walker, Bacuna, Campa, Reyes, and Lopez up front doing work. There you see Coach Riley giving the play from Kevin Poor to Jackson Gutierrez. Andy, is it just me or is Travion Mitchell and Jack Mota almost identical in their styles of running? One's a little bit bigger, though. Mota's more of a, a scat back. Yeah, he's got some quicks. Mota again. He's got that right there to get well, sideways, but gets yeah. wrangled up still. He didn't have quite the power of uh, Mitchell as Warren gangs up on him that time. He's gains nothing. And that's what you're going to have to do if you're the Warren Warriors. You're going to have to fly to the football team tackling right here as we see the Wainwright Lawyers replay. Mota said, I'm not going in there amongst the trees. Tries to get sideways, but great job by uh, initially it was Andrew Martinez that, that wrangled him up and waited on the Calvary to get there. Andrew Martinez, Andy, has stood out early for the Warren Warriors defensively. Yeah, he's the he's the, the contain guy. He's forcing everything back inside to his linebackers. And again, Mota nowhere to go. There's Jackson Gutierrez helps snap his Mota's helmet back up. Third down and two. Gutierrez keeps and he is stuck once, twice, but he's close. I think he's a little short. He's going to be short on that one. That's quarterback follow right there, quarterback lead if you prefer, but great job going low. Fourth down and one right here. Dylan Gordon lost his helmet, so he'll have to come out of the game. I think with that wind in your face, Andy, I go back to eight. Let him get a first down. He hasn't, he hasn't seemed to get in his rhythm just yet in his first quarter and early stages Check of the second that. quarter. That was Lee Thompson, my pardon me, that came out for Warren. And he's overrated, Gabe. I agree, especially when you're in a 13 nautical mile per hour knots wind in your face. Fourth down conversion here for the Mustangs. 
Jackson Gutierrez fumbles it, picks it up, and he won't get there. It bounced back to him, but both defensive lines, Andy, are, are yes. winning the battle in this game so far. It is coming down to miscues. Again, Gutierrez puts it on the ground right here, nowhere to go. Stuffed it on fourth down, and Warren, Warren returns the favor right there. Andy, he just started started the run before the ball got to him. Yeah, they're playing physical. They're playing like two, three, and oh ball clubs trying to stay undefeated, and that's what you want here. And again, we're midway through the second uh, quarter here. Well, uh, guys, we hype the quarterbacks, but it's the defense. Defense, man, I'm yeah. telling you. Physicality of the game, I, I said that from the get. These guys are getting after it. Warriors' best field position. A little swing pass out to Riazola. He's got speed as he heads up the sideline. Farron Canyon brings him down about a yard shy of the first down. Great play call right there again. Gets you the ball. And again, the ball comes out quick out of Mays' hand. I like the way he gets rid of the football right there. Gets it out to an athlete in space. And Eliza Riazola does a great job going to get nine yards on first down. We're going to see a lot of that with that defensive front for Jay. Travion Mitchell. Oh, they're going to sidearm it again. Yeah, why not? There's a flag coming in late from the back judge here, but yeah. Riazola was open. <laughs> you see how Mesa gets rid of that ball, Gabe? He throws oh, yeah. it like a shortstop, turning a double play. Got great hands, great quicks. Yeah, he was a player of the game, I think, maybe once or twice when we did his games last year, and I was just impressed with his accuracy, his arm strength, how quick he released the football. He's a complete deal. Well, we're having a discussion here, and a penalty apparently came from the back judge. All the way back behind the J defense, no flag, waving it off. Okay, that's you know kind of delay that, a game. That's, or that's, what? that's a bit of a break for Warren because they dropped the pass. Well, he's typically the one that throws the flag if it's a delay a game. I mean, he's way back there watching the play clock, and it has to go to zero before the ball snapped completely. There's no way that could have happened yeah, there. Yeah, they, they waved it off. They talked about it. I ain't mad at him. Third and well, it should be second and one at third and one. Quarterback sneak, and there's the scrum. <laughs> Depend on where number 11 was in that scrum. I no, think it should they, have been third down. It was third and one. Yeah, yeah they, they waved off the penalty. They went nine yards on first down, and then they threw that little thing out here, incomplete pass. It was third and one. Ah, they counted the play. Okay. Well, they get the first down anyways. Great get, uh, crowd here tonight at Gus Stadium. Warriors, the home team here on the press box side. Mustangs lead it eight to nothing, but it's first down Warriors. Shotgun set now for Mesa. Sends Jones in motion, drops back, and will throw it out there to Jones, and he'll make the catch and out of bounds for the gain of five. Yeah, and again, pushed out of bounds by Sebastian Urbina for the Mustangs, but again, not a bad play here on first down. You see Mesa, eyes downfield. Again, quick release from that kid. I, Gabe, I love the way the Mesa gets rid of the football. It's almost Dan Marino-ish as, as how quick he gets rid of that football. Yeah, incredibly quick. And, and I'm thinking, Andy, that's going to be about as long as he's going to have to throw with that defensive front for John Jay. Anything longer than that, that pressure's going to get to him. Second and five Warriors trying to go down and maybe tie this game up. Mesa fires a bullet and is caught. By Rio Zola, nice pass, yeah. good catch at the 19. Again, I want you to watch his arm, his arm positioning right here. He gets sidearm. I mean, it's he does what he has to do to get in, coming right at his great angle again right here. Watch him get rid of the football. Threads the needle in the window right there. The J defense in the zone coverage for a first down. He might throw the nicest ball in San Antonio this year. There's a couple guys, but he gets it there and he's yeah, he quick. Does. It's, it's quick how it comes out of his hand. He's very uh, efficient. That one had a, a slight bit of wobble, but it was right on target. You're so critical. <laughs> What's wrong with Bobby today? Mesa, scrambling left. He's going to tuck and run, and he's going to slide in front of Farron Canyon, who was in hot pursuit, and, and a gain gonna, of two. They're going to mark it where he began his slide, so it wasn't much of a gain right there, about one, one and a half yards. He is a true pocket passer. He, he's not a great scrambler, but he knows when to get rid of the ball. There you see Coach Gary Gutierrez, hands on hip on the sideline. 11 years at Jay High School. Quick snap, Mesa. And then, oh, throws one up, and Riazola had a chance at that, as did Micah Roberts, the defender. Yeah, that ball came out quick. Everybody kind of stood around. I don't know if that was on purpose or a... Yeah, the quarterback snapped it. It, it, almost, thought, it almost looked it, like they thought, like thought the defense had jumped or something. All the offensive line stood still. Yeah. Well, that's fine. That's called dead man. I mean, it happens. I mean, you don't have to move necessarily. But it's a play that could be called, but I don't know if 
snap count was off. It just looked discombobulated from the get right there, and he threw it, threw it up for grabs. Are the uh, Warriors in field goal range here? I think with a win, yes. Third and eight. Mesa scrambling again, and he breaks the tackle, and he gets hit hard. All down. And the ball came Ooh. loose, but they're saying, I think, Mesa was down. He fell on it. They're going to have to break him up, though. And Antonio Mesa has a first down. That was a Ooh. Let's watch it right here. The ball hit. did come out, Bobby. I think he got it back there. Yeah, he fell right on top of it is what it looked like here. Let's take a look. Boom. Yeah, he fell on it. Yeah, that was a great job by Dylan Gordon. I mean, I'm telling you, Gabe, these guys are they, they're physical. And 29-6A is fun this year, and, and these two teams play a big part of why it's so fun. And they are chippy, man. They're playing like neighborhood rivals. First and goal at the seven. Mesa. Uh-oh. Yep, he got the handoff. Again, didn't look real clean. I don't know why. It seems like the offensive line is moving slow uh, outside of the center, Andy. Well, and they went sideways on that, too, and a lot of had to do with those those guys in white right there led by uh, Garza, Mita Garza, number 11. Yeah, immediate penetration as soon as that play started. Yeah, it, well, the ball snapped, and I, I didn't see the other lineman move quick. I, I did, you know, maybe they're not. Was it a silent count? Watch, watch how slow everybody outside of Mesa and the center move here. Yeah, they're moving. They're running. Yep. Second and goal. So the guy's in white. Mesa. Pops. Scrambles. Throws. He has it wide open. And Riazola adjusted and has a touchdown for the Warriors. Number eight from eight yards out. Now let's take a look at this right here. Good job by Antonio Mesa. Showing his experience right here. Didn't like what he felt in the pressure. Used his feet. Didn't see him at first. And great job by Riazola just staying put right where Mesa saw him last when his eyes came off of him, came right back to him. The J secondary evacuated, got out of there, vacated, hit him for the touchdown. Henry Pence for the extra point. And the kick is up. There's a flag down. If Jay jumped off sides, will Coach Littrell take the points off the board and go for two? You can see the call. Well, the fact that Jay got the two-point conversion already, and if they're going to move say, it up, if they're yeah. going to move it to the one and a it's half, tempting. that's only uh, four and a half feet. If you're going to go for it, that's the time to do it. Michael Ordialis, tonight's referee. Ain't a whole lot of points going to be scored in this game. At least it appears that this is the shot they're going to take. I take it now. There you see Coach Josh Littrell conferring with the side judge to see exactly what the call is going to be, what his options are here. <laughs> All right, they field goal's the, good. Yeah, the extra point good. It's eight to seven. You're watching the High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV. If you don't mean it, it's just words. Well, integrity is basically loyalty to be good when no one is watching, so you should do it because you know it's right. On air, online, or in person, the 2023 KSAT Pigskin Classic was one for the history books. Once again, KSAT and TSP brought you the best high school football in South Texas. More action, more thrills, and more team spirit. From the KSAT Insider Party I think it's really epic. to the stands, to the field, the excitement was electric. San Antonio, let's do it again next year. The KSAT Pigskin Classic. are on the board 406 that time of possession that was a a good drive by Warren 10 plays and 55 yards they had to earn it Antonio Meza to Elijah Rio Zola the extra point was added on there was a 15-yard penalty against Jay and therefore Andy 
The temptation right now for Warren would be to kick an onside kick here because they'll kick from the J45. The other temptation is to go ahead and boot it out of the end zone or boot it, try to pin him inside the 20 with the wind blowing in the Mustangs' face. I think with the way that these guys, Andy, are kicking and the creativity that a lot of these kickers are bringing with the, po the pooch kicks and the pop-ups, why not try and pop it up to about the five yard line, the 10 yard line, make it make a play? Henry, Absolutely. Henry Pence had a 45 yard field goal last week against Holmes. So this young man has a strong leg, we do know. And he's gonna boot it maybe through. Did it go through the uprights? Just off to the right. This is not arena league. They don't get the they don't get the deuce. They don't get two points for it. You don't get the deuce in high school football. Well, I, I'm not 100% on that because you only gain 20 yards by kicking it out of the end zone there. But you also, maybe they're trying to avoid a return. That's the other logic. I mean, your defense is playing good right now, Bob. You yeah. got some timeouts on, you got all three, you got uh, all three of your timeouts right now. Put it in the hands of your defense. See if you can get the football back one more time. Jay will go two by two with four wides here. And they'll hand to Moda. And Moda is, Got a pick and pull collision on him. Yeah, he was rocked as he entered in. That's going to be number 35 on the pick and pull collision. Elijah Rios, Wa Waka. Oh, man. Oh, 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 the first Waka of the night, Gabriel. Was that our first Waka of the season, though? Man, I'll tell you, yeah. I, I don't think we've we've had Waka zone all year long. Waka. He, these teams are really bringing the wood here. Oh, yeah, right? absolutely. Knew, we knew that was going to happen. You're on the, over here on the west side. It is what it is, man, and got to love it. A lot of pride on both sides of these fields, guys. Physical contest, second and eight. Gutierrez underneath and is caught for a first down. Good ball right there. To, that's going to be to Dylan Gordon. Good job sitting in there by Jackson Gutierrez, man. Gets his weight, throws right behind it right here. Here you take a look at it. First and ten. You know, and he's going to the Naval Academy. When we had a chance to interview him for uh, outside the locker room, he passes the eye test. He's, he, you know, you look at him on the field. He's every bit of six foot one, 220 pounds. Moda, big hole, and a nice cut as well as he runs it into Warrior territory. Now this is starting to look. Andy, more like the first drive of the game for Jay. Well, they got two minutes and 50 seconds in county right here. You want this to be your last drive of the half. Don't let Warren have the ball back. Again, offensive coordinator Kevin Poor, not his first rodeo. He's up here in the press box with us, calling the shots, pulling the strings, and Coach Josh Riley's the actual calling the play to the actual quarterback who tears here as they got a three by one set here spread. Trips to the wide side. And Moda again. They're making money off of that because Warren's kind of staying put because they're looking for Gutierrez to pull the ball and run it, and that's, that's such a big threat that it, I think, yeah. Andy, it allows Moda some room to run. Well, you got to account for everybody, and I'll tell you who's doing work, man. It's the offensive line. 78 that time, Vincent Vicuña doing some work on that and creating running lanes, and they're big boys up front for the Mustang. Second and five, John Jay. Gutierrez pumps, fires a deep end, little yeah, could have been holding position. right there. They're yeah. not going to get the call. They're letting it play both ways. Coverage by Nick Ross right there. And again, he had contact within five. The ball was released. No call by the official. And again, letting him play. Yeah, we saw a similar play earlier in the game for the other side. They're letting him play, Andy. That's exactly right. We got a viewer texting me asking a question about Gabe Farias tonight. Third down and oh five. Oh, my goodness. Hand off to Mona, and he'll have a first down. And the question was, is Gabe wearing skinny jeans tonight? <laughs> you got a fan club, Gabe. I do. They're slim fit. A fashion fit. club. That's right. They're Banana Republic slim fit jeans. There you go. Did the other ones, are they new? I hope. I did. Incinerate the old ones. Throws to Moda. Oh, he lost his balance. Jack Moda wide open in the flat and he stumbled. Otherwise, he could have had a really big play there. Again, great job getting it out. And yeah, he, he wish he hadn't have done a forward flip here. And timeout taken here by Warren as they try to regroup with 1.20 to go. You're watching the High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV.
Have you been looking for a computer and electronics store that's right for you? Altex Computers and Electronics has been serving businesses and consumers for over 30 years. Altex has aisles and aisles of computer systems, laptops, network accessories, surveillance equipment, and thousands of cables and connectors. From computer upgrades and repair to complete system and network design and installation, Altex gives great customer service before and after the sale. Altex Computers and Electronics, your total technology store. Locations throughout Texas and ALTEX.com. Timeout by Warren, and that's the first time out of this half. Both these teams have held on to the timeouts, and in Warren trying to regroup here as yeah. Jay's driving. Jay's got Warren on their heels, and Coach Luttrell decided to pull the trigger, calm his guys down. Good chairs. Quarterback draw gets knocked off balance, and you got to have a pretty strong to hit him once, and he fall down. Was that Thompson who came in? And we'll take a look at the replay. I think it might have been. It was a 31 to see here. Wow. Yeah, 31 with low on him. That's going to be and, Gavin Fernandez. And Lee Thompson also in there. Kind of high loading. Well, guys, we got a timeout here. We'll keep it here. And remember, folks, we want you to participate in the player of the game contest. Go to johnwayne.com, select your player of the game. If it matches our player of the game, we will select our own. And you can match ours and win two tickets to see the San Antonio Gunslingers Arena Football. Again, go to johnwayne.com to participate, and you're automatically entered to win a $10,000 home makeover just by logging in. Gabe, this is a big third down because I, I, I think, I, I got to believe, Andy, this is four down territory because of the win. It's, uh, yeah, it's going to be, you got two plays. Coach Gary Gutierrez probably told Kevin Poor, offensive coordinator, you got two plays. Two plays to get seven yards. So here we go on third down and seven. Gutierrez, rush on, throws it across the middle contact, and there's a the play. A little too early there by Alec Crosby as he ran into Dylan Gordon before the ball arrived. Yeah, just a little bit. And again, it was the line judge over here on the Warren sideline that sees this, running a little crossing route right here. They completed that a little earlier. You know, he, he what what Crosby did right is he got his hand out in front, but his body made contact. Not a lot of penalties in this game, guys. That one could be a big one in this first half, Andy. Yeah, that's only uh, two penalties. That's yeah, I was going to say. Two penalties overall. That's a big one, though. Automatic first down. For some reason, yeah, there it is. They got it switched to first down. Moda hit right away. A lot of penetration up front from Warren. Getting through was Gavin Fernandez. Yeah, they're slanting the front right now, and, and why not? They're trying to get in the backfield and try to disrupt Jack Mota before he gets going. Hurry up offense right here. Gutierrez rolling, still rolling. And they stripped the ball. That was stripped by Gavin Fernandez. He got it back, though. Vicuña. Gavin Fernandez made the earlier play in that one. He nearly made a really big play. Watch 31 on your screen. Right there. Rip the ball right out. Vincent Vicuña, number 78, right there. Johnny on the spot. Offensive lineman don't get enough credit for that, Gabe. And he blocking and doing, making sure they had the football at the end of the play. Yeah, I'm watching this clock run down. Gary does not want to give Warren now he the wants football. Yeah, someone called a hmm. timeout there. That was literal. I was... Yeah. Oh. I'm a bit surprised timeout. by that. You know, I... Warren, that was their second timeout. Uh, yeah, I think that he wants to end the half with either a score but not let Warren see it again. But Warren may, may be, Andy, have helped him a little bit with that timeout. Uh, you got third down and eight. I don't think anything changes in the overall scheme of what Gary Gutierrez was wanting to do. And it's one of those deals. You, you got two, two downs to get seven, eight yards and 23 seconds left. And... Again, Warren has one timeout left. Jay has two. Yeah, and guys, you brought up something. I know I don't know if you said it on the air, but you said the wind blowing 
according to weather apps or maps or whatever it is you guys have at eight miles an hour. There's no way that's the case, man. This thing is kind of swirling. And I think, Andy, that's messing with the way that, that Jay's throwing the football. It's just uh, they're not used to to playing in wind like this. I know that you got to play in all conditions, but this wind is, I think, playing a little more havoc than, than what the weather apps are saying. So, so everything on the Internet is not true? It's not true. Okay. Third down and eight, Jay Mustangs. Worn offsides, free, free play. play. Gutierrez going to get sacked, but that was a freebie as the Warriors came offsides. A little chippiness there at the end of the play, and again, Sebastian Lopez standing up for his quarterback. Like you sacking him, you don't have to lean on him when you get up. And like you said, free play, line up, play it again, plus five for the Mustangs. Yeah, and, and Andy, I don't know what the kicking situation is like for John Jay. The ball's going to be on, what, about the 25, 24-yard line when they when they step this thing off, which is still a pretty sizable kick for a high school kid. And they're Outside. going into the win. How close do they got to get to have a realistic shot? Five-yard penalty. Third down. Yeah. We'll probably think get inside the 20. Folks, next week we'll be over at Northeast ISD, Roosevelt and Johnson. At Hero Stadium, Johnson with a win over Churchill earlier today. High snap, Gutierrez lets it fly. Caught by Moda, stops and gets swung to the ground. And there's the timeout by Jay right away after the first down and maybe in field goal range. That'd be a 34, 35 yard field goal from here. Okay. We got a timeout. Timeout, John Jay. And they still got another timeout. That is their second well, timeout. Second side. So Take a shot to the end zone, maybe. Well, like, we, I, I thought that, yeah, I, I thought that was, uh, he was slung to the ground pretty vociferously. Am I using that word right? Yeah. Probably not, but it was, uh, it, was that a, was that a horse collar call? No, was that I mean, a I, horse collar? not a game like this. You already saw Warren, you know, suplex guy. I mean, it, hey, let him play. I mean, that's nothing going to get somebody hurt. They're playing. And, and this is a good crew, guys. We, we saw these guys in the uh, in the pigskin classic. They called the Jefferson, uh, the Jefferson uh, Uvalde game. This is a good crew on the field right now. Yeah, but he spun him around. He did have him by the shoulder pads. He spun him around. I mean, it wasn't like he was chasing him from behind and pulling him down. And again, the spirit of that rule. I saw it last night over at Southwest. They grabbed the back of the jersey, didn't even have the shoulder pads and tackled them. They called horse collar. I don't think that needs to be the spirit of the rule. I mean, what else is a kid supposed to grab? Let him go? I mean, it, you know, we're, I don't know. You got a better chance of getting hurt in a car wreck than you do on a football field. If it was me in high school, they'd grab my rat tail. I had a long rat tail on I pulled. I definitely would have grabbed it. <laughs> with, with a pair of scissors. Oh, oh man, late right. right. blitz and down goes Gutierrez, Alec Crosby. What a player to, for the Warriors tonight. And that was a big loss, and they're just going to let the half expire here, Bobby. Let's watch this real quick here, well, if we did, can. Did they get a timeout? They oh, man, might they have got a timeout. The floodgates. Great blitz call right there. By there Warner. is a timeout yeah. before time expired. Real quick, guys, uh, we mentioned Clock operator, Johnson. Please reset the clock. Two getting, seconds. Getting the win over Churchill, guys. Timeout. John Jay, how about that Rose is their third timeout. How about Roosevelt earlier today, 28 to 24 over Madison? The Rough Riders are 4-0. So we got, two, we, got, we got two unbeatens next week. And two unbeatens here tonight. I, this, the only play left, Andy, is throw to the end zone. Am I wrong? Two seconds, I don't think they're going to kick. How about the timing of that uh, delayed blitz by the Warriors? Great well, they, call. That was, a, that was blitz all the way. They brought the free safety all. I mean, they, they brought their secondary up. I mean, that was awesome. And again, Coach Literal, the defensive guy, dialed it up. Zone blitz guru back in the day. I mean, there's all kind of stuff you can do to kind of confuse a quarterback, especially when you know they're going to try to take a shot. But... Guys, I, I, I think it's fair to say on, on game day, we kind of undershot the over and under on this football game. We knew it was going to be close. We didn't think it was going to be the defensive battle that it's been right now. Some good football. I'm excited for the second half. One more play here for Jay in an 8-7 lead. Back up your defense. You see him backing up. Four-man rush. Gutierrez lets it go. Jump ball. And incomplete. Well... Good first half of football. Gabe Farias will have Coach Gary Gutierrez, who leads right now, eight to seven. Boy, that you mentioned it, Andy. That two-point conversion looming really large right now. 
Here we go down to the field with Gabe Fadias. Coach, we knew this was going to be a knockdown throw. What's your message to your team in the second half? Oh, hey, this is a great ball game by two, two, two good teams, man. We're going to have to keep fighting. They're going to keep fighting. Hey, we're going to come out and just have a great game. All right, best of luck second half. All right, thanks a lot. Keep it simple. Have Gotta fun. love it, baby. Play physical football. We've had that. We will have the Jay Mustang Band when we return here to Gus Stadium as the Mustangs lead 8-7 to seven at the break. Fred Lowy Insurance Halftime Show coming up next. This is the High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on BTV. There's nothing more Texas than high school football. It's where families and communities come together. It's the pageantry of the game, the marching band, the dance team, the spirit group. A tradition and history unmatched anywhere in America. Great athletes, great games, and one of the best entertainment values for your dollar. Show pride in your school and let's celebrate our common bond. Come, come to, to the games. games. Come, come to, to the, the games. games. There's nothing like being there and seeing Texas high school football. Come, come to, to the games. games. Hi, I'm Michelle Marroquin, and I have five children in Northside, and we love to choose Northside. I find that the fine arts are where my children have grown tremendously. Uh, the support that they've had, the um, opportunities that they have had, both to express themselves through the arts, and also to really learn some important leadership skills. My name is Michelle Marroquin, and I choose Northside. It's a new day, and how you start makes all the difference. And good morning, San Antonio. Thanks so much for joining us today. GMSA gets you up and out the door with only what you need for the day ahead. New now and continued coverage. More of what impacts you. Leave out at the door. Our pinpoint forecast takes you inside what's next, hour by hour. Have a great day, guys. And with more live views from the road, we keep you clear of the backup. Everywhere you watch, expect more with GMSA. For all your business and personal banking needs, Schertz Bank & Trust is your community bank of choice to fit your needs and lifestyle. All the modern conveniences of big national banks, but with friendly, personalized service. At Schertz Bank & Trust, you are not just a number, but a valued customer that will be treated with respect. Learn the variety of loan and deposit account options online at SchertzBank.com. Schertz Bank & Trust, strong and stable since 1913. at Gus Stadium, we begin the Fred Loya Insurance halftime show as the Jay Mustang Band and dance team performs on the field. We're going to go down there momentarily. A quick look at the stats here in the first half, and it's been a defensive game as the total yardage is only 124 and 65. That's and plus created turnovers by both defenses, Andy. Hats off to the defenses. That's the been the story of the game. And you see the score is eight to seven. Everything's equal. It makes sense. And again, Jay one point up because they ran swinging gate and were able to get it in the end zone by Jackson Gutierrez. That's why they're up one point. And you heard Gary Gutierrez going in at halftime, Bobby. He's like, hey, we're going to have fun. We're going to play fun. And we're going to get after and do the things we do. And he didn't seem concerned at all. They're just going to come out and have to play their style of ball. Well, there was a 64-yard scoring drive for Jay and a 55-yard scoring drive for Warren. So you ask, well, how do they have 65 total yards? Well, the snap over, over the quarterback's head, they lost about 30 on one play. That skews the numbers a bit. But it doesn't diminish the fact that the defenses have played great football here tonight. Yeah, and Jackson Gutierrez was sacked right here at the end of the half for another, you know, 10, 11 yard loss. I mean, yeah, so the defense is like you said, and again, I'm a fan of defensive football. I'm a fan of watching games that end up being 14 to seven or seven to three. Those, you don't see games like this very often anymore. Nobody plays defense, but we got two defenses showing up here tonight. 
Well, the Mustangs uh, have their competition uh, routine ready on the field, the Mighty Mustang Marching Band. And we will go to them here in just a moment as we head to the field. Here is the John Jay High School Marching Band with their halftime show. Jose Rodriguez, the John Jay High School Band. This is the Fred Laurie Insurance Halftime Show. When we return, we'll introduce you to our John Wayne Service Company Player of the Week. You're watching High School Football presented by John Wayne Service Company, BTV. Keep adding up for Fred Loya customers in Texas. In recent months, people who switched from Geico, Allstate, and Progressive to Fred Loya Insurance saved over $1,700 a year. State Farm customers saved over $1,300 a year. Include the savings of Fred Loya customers from multiple states, and that's a combined savings of over $1.1 million a year. Start paying less for your car insurance. Call or visit FredLoya.com. If you don't call, you don't save. Every day, KSAT 12's Weather Authority's sole purpose is to keep you and your family safe. We do that by taking you into the conditions like no one else. Whether it's pop-up storms, flash flooding, or blistering heat, this is that 3D view and it tells us... Our 3D storm tracking warns you, showing you the exact path and pinpointing dangers you can't see. With more storm-certified meteorologists and more live forecasts constantly updated by us on the KSAT Weather Authority app. Expect more with KSAT 12's Weather Authority. There's nothing more Texas than high school football. It's where families and communities come together. It's the pageantry of the game, the marching band, the dance team, the spirit group. 
a tradition and history unmatched anywhere in America. Great athletes, great games, and one of the best entertainment values for your dollar. Show pride in your school, and let's celebrate our common bond. Come, Come to the games. games. Come, Come to, to the games. games. There's nothing like being there and seeing Texas high school football. Come, Come to, to the games. games. We are here at Warren High School, the home of the Warriors, the undefeated Warren Warriors, as the Warriors come off a district opening win over the Holmes Huskies. Jimmy Sauceda from the San Antonio Gunslingers here to help us present this week's John Wayne Service Company Player of the Week, quarterback Antonio Meza. Oh! Uh, yes, sir. Um, well, first, I'd like to give glory to God, um, my Lord and Savior. Um, but honestly, we just played as a team. Um, we wanted to shake off the rust from Del Rio, and uh, we kind of just came out with a passion and a fire. And uh, we just played as a team. Um, the O line held great all night, and the uh, running game was really there, which opened up the passing game. So uh, it was a whole team effort. Oh, uh, he's coachable. Uh, he's coachable. Uh... I'm not the nicest guy in the world. Always, I'm a little old school, and I'm passionate. And so sometimes there's some violent yelling going on, and uh, you know. But he's 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 so coachable, and uh, you know, I can go to him. We can talk like human beings, and then we can, you know, we get out here and we get after it in practice and in the games. And uh, I mean, he's just so resilient. I mean, you know, just the character that he has. It just tells you what kind of family he comes from, and uh, his upbringing. And uh, he's a, he's an outstanding young man. No, sir. We've, we've been close. Last year, I think we scored 63, but this is the first time ever scoring 70. Just great game plan by the coaches all week. Um, great play calls. Um, you know, I saw some things at the line where I would check a couple plays where if they gave us a certain front, or I, it just felt like we were all on, all on cinder, cylinders. Yeah, you got to come to play each week. You know, that's the thing. I mean, anybody can win on any given night, you know, and, uh, you know, you know, there's a lot of great players still in the district. You know, a lot of people lost a lot of seniors, us included. Um, you know, but uh, I mean, everybody puts their stuff on the same way every Friday night. You know, and so, uh, but and if you come and you take practices off and plays off, you're gonna fall short because uh, everybody's working their tail ends off in this district to be successful. Everybody's fighting for those four spots. Feels great. Um, feels great to have support uh, from everywhere. Just my family um, in El Paso, and then my family here in San Antonio. Uh, my dad has everybody at his work doing the voting. Um, so just a great amount of support from everybody. It feels great. Oh, they're in it for the right reasons. I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about the kids, you know. And, um, you know, they, they put their money where their mouth is. Um, they, re, you know, they're like today. You know, we're out here, you're giving people T-shirts. And you would be amazed what a T-shirt will do for a kid even. I mean, it, it, you never know what these kids go through. Um, you know, so it gives somebody something else to wear to, to school tomorrow, for instance, you know. But, you know, the publicity that we, you know, that kids get, the notoriety that they get just because of, you know, John Wayne in general, um, you know, is outstanding for our communities, you know, as well as our kids, you know, on an individual basis. Uh, first, I'd like to thank God for giving me this platform. And I'd like to thank my family for working so hard for me. Uh, I'd like to thank the Warren community and uh, everybody that voted for me. Thank you. So once again, Antonio Meza, the quarterback of the Warren Warriors, is this week's John Wayne Service Company Player of the Week. We want you to participate. Watch all the games on BGC and MeTV. Vote for your player of the game on johnwayne.com. And then beginning on Sunday, vote for your player of the week on johnwayne.com as well. Just by participating, you automatically enter to win a $10,000 home makeover.
Have you been looking for a computer and electronics store that's right for you? Altex Computers and Electronics has been serving businesses and consumers for over 30 years. Altex has aisles and aisles of computer systems, laptops, network accessories, surveillance equipment, and thousands of cables and connectors. From computer upgrades and repair to complete system and network design and installation, Altex gives great customer service before and after the sale. Altex Computers and Electronics, your total technology store. Locations throughout Texas and ALTEX.com. I'm Rashad Wisdom. Coach showed us what it takes to win on the field and in life. You've got to have power and determination. You've got to be fearless but smart with a focused strategy. That's what it takes to win, and that's what attorney Wayne Wright's got. Wayne Wright lawyers fight to get you the most money possible. When life knocks you down with a car, motorcycle, or 18-wheeler wreck injury, get a champion. Wayne Wright. Don't wait. Call 8. Call Wayne Wright now. 888-8888. Respect. Justice. Demand it. Wayne Wright Injury Lawyers. The Linda Company of San Antonio is about creating an amazing living experience for their residents. An experience that isn't perfectly described with words, but is felt the minute you walk through their doors. They strive to maintain an environment where memories are built and life happens. Their team applies advanced education and real-world experience to provide excellent real estate services in acquisitions, asset management, development, and investment. Learn more at lynd.com. Lind, your home, our passion. The Fred Moya Insurance Halftime Show. We have heard from the Jay High School Band. We will hear momentarily here from the Warren High School Band. Jay with an 8-7 lead here at the uh, break. Again, earlier today, it was Roosevelt 28-24 over Madison. Johnson 33-9 over Churchill. And next week's game... Next week's game, once again, will be those two teams, 4-0 Roosevelt against 3-0 Johnson from Hero Stadium right here on MeTV. Also, um, a final, actually at half, you can watch on BGC, Jefferson with a 34-0 lead over Brackenridge. Another earlier today final, Seguin defeats Kyle Lehman 55-30. We also have a game at Northside in the other district, 28, with Clark leading Marshall 21 to 14. And Hayes has a 13 to nothing lead over MacArthur at the break. On the field right now are the guys in the gals in purple, the Warren Warrior marching band, ready to perform here at Gus Stadium. Here we go to the field.
service company on Me TV. Keep adding up for Fred Loya customers in Texas. In recent months, people who switched from Geico, Allstate, and Progressive to Fred Loya Insurance saved over $1,700 a year. State Farm customers saved over $1,300 a year. Include the savings of Fred Loya customers from multiple states, and that's a combined savings of over $1.1 million a year. Start paying less for your car insurance. Call or visit FredLoya.com. If you don't call, you don't save. On air, online, or in person. The 2023 KSAT Pigskin Classic was one for the history books. Once again, KSAT and TSP brought you the best high school football in South Texas. More action, more thrills, and more team spirit. From the KSAT Insider Party. I think it's really epic. To the stands, to the field, the excitement was electric. San Antonio, let's do it again next year. The KSAT Pigskin Classic. Every day, KSAT 12's Weather Authority's sole purpose is to keep you and your family safe. We do that by taking you into the conditions like no one else. Whether it's pop-up storms, flash flooding, or blistering heat, this is that 3D view and it tells us... Our 3D storm tracking warns you, showing you the exact path and pinpointing dangers you can't see. With more storm-certified meteorologists and more live forecasts constantly updated by us on the KSAT Weather Authority app. Expect more with KSAT 12's Weather Authority. It's high school football time, and John Wayne is right in the middle of the action. At the end of this game, one of the players will be chosen as the John Wayne player of the game. Go to johnwayne.com right now and vote for the player who you think will win. Pick the correct player, and you'll win two tickets to a San Antonio Gunslingers home game. And just for playing, you'll have a chance to win the John Wayne $10,000 home makeover package. Don't fumble. Go to johnwayne.com and vote before the end of the game. Okay, buddy. It's coach, literal coach. Uh, have adjustments for, for for Warren. What do you guys got to do here to win this game in the second half? Oh, we got to be able to block up front. You know, we're getting our quarterback hit too much. They're putting too much pressure on us. So, I mean, I think we got some things figured out up front right now. So, hopefully, we see something different in the second half. All right, coach. Best of luck. Thank you. All right, guys. Hey, folks. I got a, uh, folks. I got a spot for you tomorrow. You know, if inflation's hitting your home budget as it is all of us. Come out to the Mission Open Air Market and find the biggest bargains in Texas on household items, tools, clothes, and collectibles, and more. They even have a farmer's market full of the best bargains in Texas. Beat inflation every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday, starting bright and early at 6 a.m. on the corner of Morrison Boulevard in Loop 410 South. We'll see you there. Mission Open Air Market. Get there early. All the good stuff is gone by about 9 o'clock. <laughs> Just saying. They got some great collectibles out there if you're into sports cards. Memorabilia. Saw some Star Wars gear out there. Oh, All yeah. kind of fun stuff. If you want That's to true. sell, you can go out there and sell stuff. And awesome place. What's your favorite Star Wars character, Skelly? Oh, man. You're going to put me on the spot, brother. Chewbacca. Um, eh, I'm a Han Solo it's, kind of guy. It's Chewbacca, right? Is yeah, a little Wookiee. Yeah. <laughs> a little Wookiee. Well, you know, I'm kind of a Han Solo guy myself. That's what I said. You well, did you both can't be Han Solos. I, Bobby, you're you're more of a Princess Leia guy. That's that's just me. Well, I couldn't quite get my hair into the buns. Okay, yeah. I'm more of a Yoda guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You were dead. I'm, I'm more of a Jabba the Hut. <laughs> that's me. I'm the I'm the Jabba the Hut guy. All right, eight I'll to seven. Jabba. Jay Jay leading more in here. <laughs> you didn't like my Jabba the Hut speak? <laughs> Whatever, Andy. I'm just talking about Mission Open Air Market. We got all Star Wars, but That's they do it. have some great stuff out there. Mission Open Air, I promise you. Guys, one thing to note. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but the, the, the visitor locker room, air conditioning's not working in there. And, and Andy, you've been a coach oh. for a long, long time. I mean, what, what, if you're Gary Gutierrez, you got you guys moving around. I'm sure you got fans blowing like crazy in that. That's got to make a difference in that halftime you know, locker absolutely room. Absolutely it does. And normally it when you have the visiting locker room air turned off, it's on purpose, but you're in the same school district. They should have both airs on. <laughs> but if I'm at another high school, we always would turn the heat on for the visiting team to are come you, on. Are you one of those NBA final conspiracy theorists from the Spurs in the heat? Yeah, absolutely. All right, there you go. Luma Reeves with the kickoff for Jay. Pretty good kick again. That's two of them that he's placed into the end zone. 
All right, well, you heard Coach Littrell coming out at half talking to Gabe. They're going to have to do a better job of protecting uh, Antonio Meza. Give him some more time. Bobby, you've alluded to the fact that the offensive line struggling a little bit, maybe not as senior heavy as they'd like, but a lot of that has to do, we talked at the half with the Jay Mustang defensive line, just flat getting after. Let's see what War uh, Warren's got uh, up their sleeve in terms of maybe to try to help that offensive line out, maybe a little sprint out, uh, things like that to alleviate the backside pressure for Meza. Guys, uh, there's nothing wrong with defense. I enjoyed that first half. Yeah, let's go. It's about let's... an hour and 10 minutes long. I loved it, too. <laughs> back onto the field is uh, Mitchell at running back with Meza with trips to the left side. Meza flares it out to Riozola. And he is out of bounds with a gain of about four. Nothing wrong with that right there. High percentage pass again. Real efficient get rid of the football. Antonio Meza flips it out there like a shortstop, turning that double play like we talked about. And allows his running back or his receiver out there to be in space and make a guy miss and go get four yards, almost five yards on first down. I mean, you're not wrong. It's kind of a throw, uh, kind of a running play at uh -oh. that receiver position. Well, they read they had too many on the field, but they didn't huddle. So that's well, the, no violation allowing the defense to make a change and nobody came on. So here we go. Meza pressured again. Ball. Lost the ball, ball is loose. Jay, and got Jay it. says they have it. Yep. Jaden Simmons coming up with it off the bottom of the pile. Big old 99 said his name a couple times tonight. Johnny on the spot. Meza had the ball out there getting ready to throw it. And I think it was Simmons that reaches out and knocks the ball loose here. Let's see the replay. He stripped it. He was standing there. He getting ready to chunk it so he didn't have it tucked away here. He's stepping up in the pocket. Right there. Yep. Simmons calls the fumble and landed on it right there. And again, Jay's got opportunity inside the 24-yard line of the Warren Warriors right here starting the second half. Skelly, it's one thing to steal possessions. It's another to convert on that. Jay's got to make some points out of this turnover. Jack Moto's the running back. They're going to throw instead out to Gordon. Gordon cuts it in at the 20. Finishes a run. Ball came out. And that ball may have come loose, too. It came out. Went out to the sideline out there. Yep. Devin Guller finally jumped on it, number 15. Nice spin move, but, yeah, everybody reaching in trying to rip the ball loose. There's a little piggly wiggly grease on that, on that football tonight, guys. We've seen quite a few... Drop balls, fumbles, drop passes. But let's they're causing they're, them. Let's see where they're going to spot it here, if it was a fumble or not a fumble, because that has a lot to do with where they, they marked the ball here. Because that ball fumbled forward. See what... Yeah, they're giving him the progress, I think. Referee's going to tell us right here. The White Hat's coming over like he wants to talk to us. Let's see here. Run the clock is what he's saying. The clock is running. Here we he's go. He's just giving us his dance move. That's what he was doing. Second down and one right here. Maybe take his shot to the end zone, but they only got a twin set out here tied yeah. into the right. And Jaden Simmons in at fullback. They give it to we'll do that. Jack Mona. Still going. Jack. <laughs> now they finished two runs in a row. I'll tell you what, man. Gordon. Mota, five foot nothing, a hundred and nothing, and he runs and stays and keeps that pile rolling. Skelly, this is a blue collar team, man. Bring your sack lunch to work, it. baby. Let's go. You might beat us, but you're going to be here all day. Better pack a lunch. First and goal. Gutierrez is going to keep it. Warren all over Jackson Gutierrez. He still manages two yards. Yeah, and why not? I mean, that, that he's a cat when it comes to running the ball. Warren knows that. They've stuffed him all night tonight. And again, coming up in, there was 25. Nate Robinson, we said his name a couple times tonight. Beating force with force right there. Minimal gain, about two or three yards. Nate Robinson has offers from several Ivy League schools. He's a very smart kid. I think he scored a perfect score in his SAT. His mom wants him to stay home in Texas, maybe go to Angelo State. The Rams. Second and goal, good to get his hands to Moda again. Nothing. Good gang tackling once again by the Warren defense. Led that time by number 32 coming up in there, getting his hands on and his Karen Nutter Holland. Good job right there. But nothing wrong with Angelo State, Bobby. We know a couple guys that went up there. 
back yeah. in the day, about 33 yeah. years and ago. We, and we didn't have perfect SAT scores we either. Did. We didn't, but we. Yeah, Mike Jinks and Larry Terry, didn't they go to Angelo State? <laughs> That's two other guys. Oh, yeah. right, 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 okay. Larry Terry. <laughs> Old McCollum Cowboy with Gabe Farias. Third goal. Gutierrez rolls right, fires it. That may have been deflected away. He was looking for his tight end, Baldwin, again. Trying to run the drag from the backside right there. Brings up fourth down here. Let's take the replay right here. Coming right at us. No, nope. oh, went right off his hand. Baldwin bring, put both hands up. He might have had a shot at catching that, and he probably wishes he had that one back here. As yeah, the deflection I saw was the receiver. We're going to get a field goal attempt here, it looks like. Jacob Quinlan in. He is a linebacker, but also the kicker, Jay Shorteman. That Baldwin coming back in. He plays both sides of the ball, so he forgot he was on field goal. Extra point as well. Here. 24 yards here on this attempt. And it is a line drive that is Good. through. And the John Jay Mustangs have now an 11-7 lead. We're in the third. This is high school football. The showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV. your business and personal banking needs, Schertz Bank & Trust is your community bank of choice to fit your needs and lifestyle. All the modern conveniences of big national banks, but with friendly personalized service. At Schertz Bank & Trust, you are not just a number, but a valued customer that will be treated with respect. Learn the variety of loan and deposit account options online at SchertzBank.com. Schertz Bank & Trust, strong and stable since 1913. It's so easy to love pick and pull. Why? How about the largest inventory in South Texas? How about the ease of finding your part with our interchange in real-time inventory search at pickandpullsa.com? How about an organized yard and maps to find your parts plus a shuttle? At Pick and Pull, we make it easy to save money on the quality used auto parts you need at a price you can afford. More to pick, less pull for your budget. Now that's Pick and Pull. The uh, Jay Mustangs. That, was that 13 plays? Wow. That didn't seem like it. Either way, the Mustangs get a 24 yard field goal by uh, number 36, Jacob Quinlan. And that was all set up, Andy, by the Jaden Simmons fumble recovery. And. Gabe, you said it. Can they capitalize? They did. They got some points. Yeah, I, they needed to get something out of that drive. You know, it puts them up by four right now, and it makes me wonder, Andy, Quinlan's got a, a nice leg. Had they gotten it to about the 15 or the 20-yard line before they ended the first half, they probably would have taken a shot at a field goal because he's got a pretty good pretty good leg. Yeah, again, you know, when's the last time you've seen an 11-7 score? Very rarely. Seven come 11. When the, Astro, the when the Astros are beating the Rangers. Oh, they need to get Josh Young back. There's enough, man, I'll tell you what, this kicker from Jay. He's got a leg, man. And he doesn't kick the uh, field goals, but that's Delamu Reeves. And he's kicked it out of the end zone three times now. And he might also be Andy. I mean, it, correct me if I'm wrong, you might be a little have a little more knowledge. He might be the guy, if you got to line up for a 45 or 50 yard kick, you, you let him do it. Yeah, he's your long distance yeah. dedication. That, we do have that scoring summary now. It's six plays and 23 yards and 201 off the clock. Jacob Quinlan with a 24 yard field goal. Here comes Warren. They turned it over yeah. on their first possession. They're going to have to protect Mays. They're going to have to find a way to get him with not so much pressure. He's under center right here, though. Two men motion. They're going to run a reverse, and there's the man, Riazola, the one they want to get the ball to in space. But Jay Great stayed home. Kiros. Yeah, they stayed home backside, and Diego Quiros yeah. knocks him out of bounds. Luke seven right there for Jay. He got a big old smile on his face. He came flying up from his secondary position. Watch this right here. A little reverse, a little dip to do going the wrong direction right here. Nothing doing. Here comes Quiros in there to knock him out of bounds for a minimal two and a half, three yard gain right there on the reverse. Coach Chad Rodriguez coaching him up, slapping him on the helmet, having a good time over there on the J sideline. Second and seven for the Warriors. Travion Mitchell in the backfield. He 
gets the handoff straight ahead. And he is met by Farron Canyon, who wrestles him to the ground uh, at the 31. Guys, before, but, uh, 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 to y'all's uh, point, I think we were talking about it during the break. They got to figure out a way to get Rio Sola the, the ball in open space. And on that reverse, Skelly, you're going to see Coach Littrell and the offensive team just try and find a way to get their guy the ball. He is the difference maker on this team. Warriors now with another third down. They are two out of five on third down conversions. Meza fires one underneath to Real Zola, and he makes the catch and has a first down. Yeah, that's their guy, absolutely. That's not hard to figure out. And that time, Dylan Gordon comes up a little bit too late on the coverage for the Mustangs. And first down for the Warren Warriors here. Uh, we're going to get a 15-yarder, 16-yarder. Yeah, Warren's got to settle down a little bit right here. Just got a first down. Now you're going to go backwards. And you could see the frustration on Coach Literals. He's telling him right now, he's yeah. like, come on, guys. Look at him. I mean, coaching him up, like, look. And right now, Jay Mustangs are getting in their head a little bit. They're getting in their kitchen and they're cooking with some Crisco. <laughs> and they may be cooking with lard, man. Let man, me tell I'm you something. You, yeah. You know, we, you know, we talked about in the pregame show the, the, the keys to victory. We talked about special teams, but one of the things we didn't talk about, making mistakes, unforced errors in a game that we knew was going to be this close, Skelly. That's just an unforced error for the Warren Warriors. And Coach Littrell's pleading his case out there, you know, like you're going to call it both ways here. And... It's Michael Erdialis, tonight's referee. And again, it's a big deal in an 11 to 7 game right here. Two hundred feet going ball. at it. Unsportsmanlike on number eight for Warren. That's his first warning. First unsportsmanlike. All right, you get two, you're gone. The second one will be an ejection. And did they say Rio Sola on that? It yes, eight. it was. Oh boy. Play with your pads, not your hands. And guys, instead of first and ten, first and 25 on a night that you're struggling offensively. That just uh, makes you, I don't know. As Exacerbate. Coach, go, hmm. Yeah, more than that. Yeah. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, no thank you. Come on, dude. Well, they're backing up the chains. Did they get a first down? They, yeah, they did get a first down. They did move yeah, the chains back. Yeah, so still first, first and 10. Then. Yeah. All right, not first and 25. So first and 10. Draw play, some room to run. Ramirez. Out to the 32-yard line, 31 they'll mark him, or yard shy of the first down. Skelly, that's a great answer for Warren. Yeah, they just got to come back and control, play with your pads, quit making hand gestures that are inappropriate on a football field, and play. You, I mean, you're making great plays, just play. And again, as a coach, I mean, these are teenagers, and we know the teenagers are known for making great decisions. <laughs> Not. Mazik under center, man in motion. Quick drop, and he let, oh, tipped uh -oh. in the air, another Austin pitch, and fell short of Sebastian Urbina, but deflected at the line of scrimmage. Urbina or Diego Quiroz comes in, number seven right here. Let's see who gets the deflection. That's going to be Baldwin, number 88. Yep. Elijah Baldwin said his name a bunch tonight, playing tight end, defensive end. Pass, another pass break there for big number 88. He had an interception earlier. Yeah, I'll tell you, he could be a candidate for a player of the game on the defensive side for the Mustang. Yeah, and, and I heard Coach Littrell, you know, screaming here on the sideline, get into your block. That's a quick pass, Andy, so you want to get into that guy. I don't think they touched him. He was he was untouched, and he just went straight up yeah, and knocked that to, thing down. You're going to have to try to cut him because he's a big, tall, lanky kid. Mitchell on third and one, gets one plus, continues on to midfield. And the Warriors are into Jay territory. Farron Canyon, touchdown saving tackle, number 18 for the Mustangs right here. Just right down Main Street, Bobby, like you like to say. Missed tackle by the Mustangs, another missed tackle by the Mustangs. And Farron Canyon with the tackle. A little hurry up now. They go to the line quickly. And they'll sling it out to the sidelines. Davis with the catch. Gain of about three for number three, Isaiah Davis. And that's just another extension, Gabe, like we talked about earlier. That's an extension of their run game. It's a run, yeah. yeah they just throw it out there, get it, get it to an athlete in space, go get three yards. At some point, that's going to be a pump fake, and somebody's going to release down the sucker. Yeah, they'll run the sucker off of it, send somebody deep on the trigger from the corner. But Midway through the third, 11-7, and free play here for Mesa. Up. There was contact. They're going to yeah. blow it dead. He was telling this guy, go deep.
defense. Outside, there was contact made. Be a five yard penalty. Yep, when they make contact, it's a dead. They blow it dead. Slugfest, folks. Two defenses. Teams hitting hard. This is good old fashioned football with a mix of intensity and sometimes in the wrong way. I would have said that over and under would have been about 50, Andy. They ain't gonna get close to that. Second and one, everybody on the line for Jay defensively. And early movement, they'll give him the five back. Yep. Miss the Cubes, the back to back Miss Cubes. Five five that is the third procedure penalty, Andy, Replace against down. Warren. And it seemed like each time they were very close to a first down one and they got the middle the of the drive killers, no doubt. Coaches talk about it all the time. But Gabe, I'm like you, I think first one to 20 wins. I agree, man. This is gonna be a low scoring game. I think both of these teams are gonna have opportunities to get points on the board. But uh, again, in the, in the pregame show, I think Sean had it at 35-32, I had it at 35-28. We ain't gonna get close to those numbers tonight. And for a change, you were wrong, Gabe. For a change. Second down, Mesa. Up. Oh. Hello. Ball's Turn. on the ground. They're going to get a, we got a He took a shot, shot to, the, to head, the head. But the flag came from the back judge. I'm, let's see here. Yeah. The flag might be on a, a hold, I yeah. think. The, that should have come from the referee. Oh. It was a pick and pull collision to his head there. Kind of a, a tomahawk chop on his head. Leandro Holland. I don't know if he was trying to knock the ball loose. Yeah, I think he was swatting at the ball. And he he swatted him it in the head. Yeah, hit, in a, hit him in his noggin. Big call here Let's coming. See what they're saying here. Keep it below the weight. It's a chop block. So that was. Down. Yeah, they're going to count the sack. Well, he was trying to knock the ball loose. He happened to hit him on the head with it. And again, that was Leandro Holland, number 97, right there. Guys, Antonio Mesa has had no time no, I, for the front four the for, for John Jay been blowing and going and knocking, breaking up passes, and it's been a frustrating night so far for Antonio Mesa. Third and 13. They're coming again. Mesa scrambling. Oh, another side. Why not? Defensive coordinator Nelson Barnes is saying, Katie, bar the door. Second down along. Let's send the dogs. Let the big dogs eat. Yeah, Andy, right now this offense, it's a two-step drop or it's too long. Look at the rush and yeah. the push by the front four. You got two guys sandwiching Mesa, knocking his helmet off. Mesa is not We're a happy camper out. right now. Timeout. Timeout on the field. This Timeout. is the High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV. It's so easy to love pick and pull. Why? How about the largest inventory in South Texas? How about the ease of finding your part with our interchange and real-time inventory search at pickandpullsa.com? How about an organized yard and maps to find your parts, plus a shuttle? At pick and pull, we make it easy to save money on the quality used auto parts you need at a price you can afford. More to pick, less pull from your budget. Now that's pick and pull. There's nothing more Texas than high school football. It's where families and communities come together. It's the pageantry of the game, the marching band, the dance team, the spirit group. A tradition and history unmatched anywhere in America. Great athletes, great games, and one of the best entertainment values for your dollar. Show pride in your school and let's celebrate our common bond. Come, come to, to the games. games. Come, come to, to the, the games. games. There's nothing like being there and seeing Texas high school football. Come, come to, to the games. games. Welcome back here to Gus Stadium. Bobby Stotzenberg alongside Andy Skelton down on the field. Game Padias, Texas Sports Productions with our MeTV coverage here tonight, and it's a slugfest. Dog fight. I'm going to call it a dog fight because that's exactly the fangs are out. Henry Pence to punt. That was not a charge timeout. The officials, that was an official's timeout just moments ago. As well, that thing just can't got knocked down into the wind. But the thing that's going on here, uh, Gabe, Andy, that Jay's been given a couple of opportunities, and, and they, 
you got to be able to put a game away now when when your defense is giving you the ball back a good field position. Jay's defense playing lights out right now. And again, kudos to Nelson Barnes. I'm going to say his name again. Nelson Barnes, defensive coordinator for Jay. His kids are heating it up, smelling blood, letting the big dogs eat right now. Yeah, guys, this uh, this isn't your grandma's Jay's team, that's for sure. These guys are, are physical well, everywhere. Oh, here we go, a little trickeration. The throw one deep. Got him. Oh! Overthrows Diego Quiros. <laughs> I asked offensive coordinator Kevin Poor about his trick plays today. There's a couple in the bag for tonight right there. That's a little dead man action. Why not? Taking a shot. Great job covering it, though, by the... That was a great pass. Yeah. I think the wind just kind of caught yeah. that a smidge. Overthrew it. Lined up a play second down to 10 right now. Well, they were going for the jugular, as we said. Second down and 10. Gutierrez hands it to Moto again, and the pile Broom. stood up at the 35. And guys, uh, Gabe, I think, Andy, uh, you can chime in on this. I, I think a touchdown by Jay might be enough to actually win this game at this point. They, to, they need to keep pounding the rock right here. They need to be patient. They need to run the clock. Again, this is not an offensive night. Gary Gutierrez, this ain't his first rodeo. He knows, you know, the clock is his friend and it, he knows the strength of his offense and what, what's available. Uh, Warren defense has done a great job shutting down and not allowing Jackson Gutierrez to get loose tonight, but Jack Mortar's having a pretty good night tonight, as is Dylan Gomez and, and uh, guys like that. So, you know, stay with what you are. Third down, they're two of six on third downs. They run the option, Mota slips a little, and then he gets hit and the ball's loose at the 35. Yep, again, that's going to be uh, number 79. Dave recovers it. Uh, yeah, Sebastian Lopez, offensive lineman number 79, falls on it. They know where to go on oh, the option. Wow. Great pick and pull collision at the end of that right there. Man. Great defense by the Warren Warrior defense. They had everybody covered on the option. They had the quarterback. They had the pitch. They had the cavalry coming. Brings up fourth down. Punt time here for the Jay Mustangs with Jackson Gutierrez back in punt formation. And Rio Zola and Jamari Jones back deep for Warren. Two return men on fourth down. Here's the punt. And that will head to the sideline. That's actually, a makes perfect a punt. Great roll. Better punt that time by Jackson Gutierrez. I'm not really sure why Rio Zola, he just kind of looked at it instead of going over there and fielding Bobby, it. I think he thought that thing was going out of bounds. It just was perfectly placed. Let your defense play now. If you're Jay, if your offense is Coach Littrell, you see his intensity trying to get his offense, get something going. And right now, Antonio Meza has been shut down and frustrated. Guys, is this not one of, if not the most physical game we've seen so far this year? I mean, they're jarring the ball loose. They're not. Uh, it's, yeah, they're they're not playing patty cake down there. They're they're offending a lot of people. Offending a lot of people. I guarantee you. That's a great thing about football, Gabe. You can do stuff on the football field to get you put in jail in the real world. That's it. Meza hands it off right down Main Street and at Travion Mitchell. That seems to be their best option is run the big fella straight ahead. He ain't real big, but he's thick and he's a power back and he gets through into the secondary right now. Right, I keep feeding him the rock. They, I mean, they got two options. Get it to five or quickly get it to eight. Real Sola and Mitchell, Andy, are, are, are the two workhorses for this team right now. First down run there by Travion Mitchell, who's up to 82 yards on eight carries. Man in motion now, Mitchell again. And holding on there is Farron Canyon. He took the brunt of that hit, but he does make the stop after a gain of two. Yeah, and again, falling forward though, Mitchell falling forward, you, but he's not getting off light and free easy though, man. He, he going there, and the guys in white are popping him. They're like, you're gaining yardage, but you're gonna get tattooed. Both, both coaches seem fine with the with the pace of this game. I know Gary Gutierrez is, is fine with the pace of this game. I'm not so much sure that Josh Littrell is 
is happy with the pace of this game. Second and eight. Mesa has some time, fires it deep into the wind, and it got to Riozola, but he couldn't haul it in with his left hand. Dylan Gordon in coverage and coming over the top is Diego Quitos. The ball was right there over the outstretched hand. Let's take a look right here. Great play action. That might be their answer to pressure right there is play action. He gets a hand on it. Again, go with two hands to try to catch that or leave your feet and maybe catch it, but that was not a bad ball by Antonio Mason. Yeah, and he's come off the field, so Riazola is not going to be on the field with this big third and eight play. And Mesa had the presence of mind knowing he was throwing that against was the, the wind. Yeah, that was one receiver route, guys. I mean, that, that wasn't, he wasn't reading anything. That was play action to hold the linebackers, keep the linebackers off he's of him. Taking a shot. Yes. Third and eight. Comes Here a comes a rush. They flare it out to Ramirez. He was the safety valve, and he picks up a first down. Good, quick decision there by Antonio Meza. Yeah, they, Meza knew that when the edge guy was coming off the edge, that was the guy that was covering the guy to the flat right there. That's his outlet on the blitz. No different than running the option and flipping it out to the pitch guy right there, first down. Move the chains for the Warren Warriors here. From the 40-yard line. First ball. And again, both teams have all three timeouts. Mesa flips it forward. Almost a shovel pass there. That's what it is. That's a pass. That was scary, guys. He drops that. It's not a fumble. It would have been an incomplete pass right there, but it absolutely plays like a shovel pass, oh, but he man. threw it underhand. And that's Zach Mota, number man. three, coming in. He got a little pick and pull on that. Give him a tackle for a loss on that one. Number three there, you see him. Zach Mota, I senior. Think, I think... Mesa let that one go a little too soon, perhaps. Yeah, they were trying to take advantage of the rush by the front four of Jay, let those guys fly by and, and flip it underneath, but linebacker Mota wasn't having it. Here comes Blitz again. Let's see if they come. And they give it off on the draw oh. to Ramirez. Big hole, and he's ahead to midfield with a Warrior first down. Again, bringing pressure off the edge that time, and again, blitzing. You live by the sword, Gabe. You die by the sword, and that time they kind of let him come through. Nobody in the middle of the field. It looked like that guy that was blitzing had a shot at him. He just kind of whiffed yeah, right by him. Yeah. Big 72 there. Darian Garza, Garcia. They've taken their, their licks tonight, that offensive line, but Garcia made a great block there. Jay didn't have anybody in the middle of the field, though. That helped a little bit. Still don't. A little flare pass out to Jones. He'll do the rest. Good run after catch. Now he secures the ball for another Warrior first down as we end the third. Wow. Jay 11. Wow. Warren 7. You're watching the High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV. It's high school football time, and John Wayne is right in the middle of the action. At the end of this game, one of the players will be chosen as the John Wayne player of the game. Go to johnwayne.com right now and vote for the player who you think will win. Pick the correct player, and you'll win two tickets to a San Antonio Gunslingers home game. And just for playing, you'll have a chance to win the John Wayne $10,000 home makeover package. Don't fumble. Go to johnwayne.com and vote before the end of the game. I'm Oscar Cardenas. In football, we fight hard to make it happen. That's what makes us winners. 18-wheeler or company vehicle wreck injury put you on the sidelines? Get a winner to fight for you. A lawyer with grit and determination who will not stop until you get justice and all the money you deserve. And that's Wainwright Injury Lawyers, so don't wait. Call 8. Call Wainwright Injury Lawyers. 888-8888 now. Want to win? You know who to call. That's right, Wainwright. Respect. Justice. Demand it. Wainwright Injury Lawyers. 300,000. 300,000. 300,000. That's how many of you are subscribed to the KSAT 12 YouTube channel. And what do you get? More in-depth stories and unique specials, more newscasts on your time, more local sports, more eats, and more popular videos tailor-made for your busy schedule. Want to know what you're missing? Subscribe today to find out. 
we're looking for Dr. Mercer or Dr. Fulton. with the family. Yeah, we can wait. Foster families not paid. 47 claims of employees not being paid. We have to speak up and we have to keep fighting. Kingshead investigates the troubling closure of Lone Star Social Services and the corporation behind the decision. I can't make you get off public property. I'm not even going to try. I do know that Dr. Murphy said uh, that he's not going to comment. The answer will always be no comment. Stream KSAT's full investigation now on these platforms. There you see the uh, training staff for Warren taping up Elijah Riozola. <laughs> if he's going to make a play, it's going to be on a slightly bum ankle. Uh, he's fine. He's fine. Get back in the fight. Fourth quarter. Here we go. Fourth quarter of play. Warren starting to move the ball a bit. Quarterback oh. sneak, and Mesa <laughs> goes straight ahead. Surprise attack there by Antonio Mesa, and a gain of 14. I like the adjustment right there. They saw something. Let's see. Left side A-gap, yep. No linebackers in the middle. I told you that Jay has not had a linebacker in the middle of the field. Took advantage of it right there. Very smart call there. Was that a checkoff by Mesa? Quiroz made the tackle, Diego Quiroz. It might have been a check with me. It could have been a press box call, but you've seen Zach Motes has been coming off the outside. Now you see him back in the middle of the formation. First and 10. Mays are going to throw out to the flat. It is caught. Munoz ahead to the 17. Donovan Munoz with his first catch. I like the play call. I like the fact that they actually let Mesa kind of sprint out a little bit to get away from the backside pressure, give him some time looking at the Wainwright Lawyer replay. Nobody in his face he's able to see and make that throw right there. Best drive of the night so far for Warren. They got a score. They did have a 10-play 55-yard drive on the scoring. The one touchdown drive. As Mesa going to step into this one and fired underneath is caught and into the end zone or no? no they said he was short. Down, but... Close, Donovan Munoz, back-to-back -back catches for the Warriors. Great ball by Antonio Mesa. Let's see, if we see the replay right here. Great patience, stepping up, throws again a little sidearm. It's effective for him, though. Ball's going to be on the one-yard line here. Perfectly placed ball. Mitchell's in. First and goal, Mesa will get into the end zone, and Warren has the lead. That's Antonio Mesa saying, put it on my back, let's go. Follow me. Touchdown, Warren. Great job by the bigs up front right here. Keeping his feet moving. Gets in the end zone. You got to love high school football in the state of Texas, guys. This Warren crowd erupted. And they finally had a reason to do so. That is, that's a big boy drive for Mesa and this Warren offense. Big extra point right here. Henry Pence for the extra point. This kick is good. So Warren, 14, J11, 10.20 to go. This is the High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company of BTV. Three hundred thousand. That's how many of you are subscribed to the KSAT 12 YouTube channel. And what do you get? More in-depth stories and unique specials, more newscasts on your time, more local sports, more eats, and more popular videos tailor-made for your busy schedule. Want to know what you're missing? Subscribe today to find out. Drive of the night so far, 11 plays, 88 yards there for Warren. Antonio Mesa 
with a one-yard run and some crafty plays by the senior quarterback along the way. Well, that's what you expect. They're making adjustments, and again, Jay was kind of cheating a little bit, didn't have linebackers in the middle of the field, so Mason went up under center and ran a quarterback sneak for a big chunk of yardage, and that started their drive. They ended up in the end zone. Again, I'm going to say what I told Gabe earlier, first one to 20 wins. I was just about to say the same thing, man. For heck, maybe the first one to 16 or 17 wins. Pence to kick it off. And this one will be carried by the win. Warren does have the win, Andy, here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and I tell you, the crowd got down here in purple in front of us on the home side, got a little rockets going on and getting a little fired up. You think this game don't mean nothing, and now it's Jay's turn to kind of answer here. Let's see what they got going. Yeah, my old man uh, iPhone loud environment alert just came on right now, so that's how I can tell this Warren is into this football game now. Here comes Jackson Gutierrez, the other senior quarterback, looking to make a play himself. He'll hand it off. See a big hole up the middle. Moda foot race. And he gets caught, but a big first down run there by Jack Moda. Let's see the bigs up front doing work for John Jay right here. Coming right at you. Shot out of a cannon. Where'd who go? Skelly, that's just hat on hat, man. That is. When do you get the line of scrimmage? Jack and Moda you're half late to uh, making it, some yards, bringing a play. And we got a player down for Warren here at the end of that. Timeout on the field. Cramping. This is High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on BTV. It's hot in Texas, and our electrical grid is getting maxed out. Don't get left in the dark. John Wayne has a full warehouse of standby generators ready for immediate installation. We'll keep the lights on, keep you cool, even if you lose power. And right now, enjoy no payments and no interest for 12 months. That's right, no payments until 2024. For a limited time, when you purchase your standby generator from John Wayne, we'll install a complete home surge protection system for free. Call or text John Wayne today at 293-6700. I'm Rashad Wisdom. Coach showed us what it takes to win on the field and in life. You've got to have power and determination. you got to be fearless but smart with a focused strategy. That's what it takes to win, and that's what attorney Wayne Wright's got. Wayne Wright lawyers fight to get you the most money possible. When life knocks you down with a car, motorcycle, or 18-wheeler wreck injury, get a champion. Wayne Wright. Don't wait. Call 8. Call Wayne Wright now. 888-8888. Respect. Justice. Demand it. Wayne Wright injury lawyers. What a cramp action that time from uh, Nick Ross. And he comes off the field, and now Warren. Jack Moda just ripped off a 48 yard run, and the Mustangs are in position to either tie or take the lead. Now they're going to go ahead and huddle back up right here. Let's see what Jackson Gutierrez. Andy Jack Moda now, 18 carries, 141 yards. They're going to take a shot to the end zone right here. Why not? They're probably picked up top. They're going to look, check for me here. First and 10. Look at us. Caught by Kiros, and Kiros has a Mustang first down. That was just all hitch right there, and again, that was a check with me. They're starting to signal plays in. Right here, and went to the softest corner, shortest throw for Jackson Gutierrez, picks up a first down. Good throw, good catch. And is it just me, or is everybody in this stadium just saying, hold your breath, hold on to the football? Because the hits are coming, Andy. Mona. No, they run the option and they whistle it and stop the play. That play started a little wonky. I think maybe somebody hitched. They didn't throw a flag, though. They did. Did they? Okay. There it is. Oh, there it is on the screen. I don't see it on the field. <laughs> I'm up here. Ball stop. Kept. On the offense. He didn't Five yard to. penalty. We play the down. Throw the flag or get a hitch in your giddy up? Yeah, he didn't mean to jump offside. I got you. Okay. Man. 
learned so much from Andy. Stick around. I know. There's more. Lessons are still to come. But, but wait, there's more. First and 15 now for Jackson Gutierrez. Hands it to Moda. Stretch play right. Back to the original line of scrimmage, and they're ripping and tickling, trying to get the ball loose again. Biting, fighting, whatever it's got to do, man. And I tell you what, I like, I like Jack Mota, man. He don't, he don't stop. He got one motor. He goes 100 miles an hour. That was a, what a six-yard gain that time. After the penalty, got the penalty yardage back plus one yard. Second and nine. Waiting for number eight to make a play, guys. With his legs in particular. He's going to throw one up, has a man, and it's Got caught. Him. Made a play. Got him. Dylan Gordon with a spectacular catch on a great throw as well. Touchdown, Jay. The Mustangs regain the lead. That was a press box call. You saw Jackson Gutierrez looking over to the sideline. That was a one receiver route. Great block by Jack Mota, picking up the pressure off the edge. Great extension by Dylan Gordon for the go-ahead touchdown. Two touchdown catches now for Dylan Gordon. Here comes the uh, extra point team on, swinging gate team off. Well, you're up 17-14. This extra point is massive. Very big. If he makes this, especially Warren the, has to score a touchdown. Yeah, especially with the wind, with Warren's back, and making a field goal is a little easier. Extra point is booted through. And so Jay now leads it 18 to 14. 8.26 to go. You're watching the High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV. Hi, my name is Cassius Taylor. I'm the wing commander here at John Jay High School. And I'm Rebecca Jones, the vice commander at John Jay High School and the Science and Engineering Academy. And, and we, we choose, choose Northside. Side. I'm a student at John Jay High School, and I'm also a student at the Science and Engineering Academy. And so I've loved that I've been able to mesh those two worlds. It has definitely been one of the best experiences I've ever had in my life because it's changed my entire life. I'm Cassius Taylor. And I'm Rebecca Jones. And, and we, we choose, choose Northside, Northside for, for our future. future. For all your business and personal banking needs, Schertz Bank & Trust is your community bank of choice to fit your needs and lifestyle. All the modern conveniences of big national banks, but with friendly, personalized service. At Schertz Bank & Trust, you are not just a number, but a valued customer that will be treated with respect. Learn the variety of loan and deposit account options online at SchertzBank.com. Schertz Bank & Trust, strong and stable since 1913. Mustangs regain the lead. That was a four-play drive that took only 154, 13 yards. Jackson Gutierrez to Dylan Gordon. Second time tonight, those two have connected for a touchdown. Great answer by the Mustangs right here. 8.26 left in the game. First one to 20 wins. Against the win, the kickoff. Take it uh -oh. and drop. Picked up at the six. And finding his way through is Ramirez <laughs> out to the 23-yard line. Well, folks, if inflation is hitting your home budget, we know it is. Come on out to the Mission Open Air Market and find the biggest bargains in Texas on household items, tools, clothes, collectibles, including Star Wars toys, and more. They even have a farmer's market full of the best bargains in Texas, beat inflation every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday, starting early at 6 a.m. on the corner of Morrison Boulevard and Loop 410 South. We'll see you there, Mission Open Air Market. There's the senior, Antonio Meza, needing a good touchdown drive here for Warren to have a chance. They'll start on the ground and Mitchell is waylaid Baldwin. by Baldwin. Elijah Baldwin, Bobby, we said his name, looking at the Wainwright Lawyer replay, gets him, comes downhill, running the heel line. We he said his touched. name. Hey, we've said his name several times tonight. I'm a fan of what he's been doing on the defensive side. Well, 
that's by design, Gabe. That they're supposed to outrun that, but he back he he just scraped right down the line of scrimmage. Yeah, he got there quick, man. Came down quick. Gained one yard on it, but that was a great play. Second and nine. Mesa fires it underneath, caught at the 40-yard line. First down, Jamari Jones. And now he's got a little bit of time. You see the difference. Yeah, he's starting to throw it in. That's a great job by the sophomore, Jamari Jones, laying out. He, again, right in the window of that zone defense. Great ball by Mesa. Here we go. Hang on to your hats. The winners will be tied with Harlan for the district lead. Mitchell straight ahead. The pile moves. Mitchell still moving. How about Mitchell that? still moving. How about that? 13 yards. Weight room, guys. The last Weight room. eight, nine yards of that after contact. Again, come on, get in the fight. Golly. All the white shirts need to get in there. They're great Scotty, job by five. Is it just me, or is this one of those old school kind of back in the Anthony Beverly days knockdown throw out north side ISD battle? Yes, except Warren wasn't open back then, but yeah. Uh, yeah, well, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I got you. I got yes. Jay Holmes, Jay Clark, Jay Marshall, yeah. I mean, and, and Anthony Beverly would have ran away from everybody. Here's a throw uh -oh. underneath deflection. Tip drill, caught interception, Roberts. And that one off the receiver's hands. Jamari Jones couldn't hold on. Michael Roberts could. And Jay has another turnover. That second interception tonight, I believe, for Mesa Bobby. Both of them were tip balls here, as we see. He tried to, he hitches and tries to he hit the sophomore in his hands. And that was a catchable ball, guys. Only so much you can do if you're Mesa. Yeah. The teammates got to help him out a little bit. It looked like he jumped a little too high for it almost, or missed time to jump. And again, you know, Jones is a sophomore. I, I think a touchdown puts this thing away, Andy. First one to 20 wins. Jack Moda. Another nice play. Jack Moda. First down yardage. Great job by the bigs up front again for the Jay Mustangs. Great cut by the senior running back, Jack Mota. Beautiful thing to watch right here. Clock is running, 620 in county right here. Yeah, guys, when you're talking about player of the game, I, I can't see how Jack Mota is not in this conversation. He has 20, been the workhorse for this team. 20 carries, 159 yards. And now Mustangs want to run a clock. H back off to the left here. Yeah, they're going to run a little power play right here to Mota. Moto again stood up this time. I see what they're trying to do. Be a little conservative right here. Again, running clock, but you got to gain some yardage too. Try to get you a first down. Yeah, what you don't want to do, Skelly, is lose yards, which is what they did on that play. Among others, with the stop in the backfield. You have time. Five minutes and 30 seconds to vote for your John Wayne player of the game. Go to johnwayne.com. Match our player, win two tickets to the Gunslingers, and enter yourself to win a $10,000 home makeover. And we're going to check with me. Wins left, single receiver right. Moda straight ahead again, and he gets... Stopped in his tracks there. Another big hit. Alec Crosby, number six, he has played a great game tonight for the Warriors. Well, both teams have three timeouts, and again, clock's running here with 4.53. Coach Gutierrez knows big third down right here as he, his son, Jackson Gutierrez, comes back out with the play call. Mustangs with a third down and nine. They're five, excuse me, two of seven on third down conversions. Run a little hitch route right here. Good is a sprint out. Fires it as a man is caught. First down, Gordon and Moore. Gordon cuts it back at the five. And there's another candidate there, Gabe, Dylan Gordon. He has a, had a big game tonight for the Mustangs. First up. Hey, I'll tell you, first time we see him sprint out, didn't mean to interrupt you, Gabe. Oh, no, that's fine. Great job on the out route, right? He sprint out all the way. Jackson Gutierrez is able to get outside the pressure square, shoulders, and throw a dime 
to Dylan Gordon right there. I, I was going to say, Andy, that, that's a great play call. Even better execution by the Jay Mustangs. Under four to go. They probably wouldn't mind, Andy, to run about three plays to score this. Well, let's see if they're going to look back to the sideline right here. If they look back, they're going to check with me all the way right here. Jack Moto off to the right. And they're going to throw it out to Gordon. And bobbles it, secures it. And all that for about a yard and a half. Two, down to the two-yard line, though. That's the big thing. And the clock's running right here. That's a scary play to run, Andy. I know it looks safe, but you got four. You got... Uh, <laughs> You've got number four and you've got number eight. Both of those guys Coach can Lichel. get that in the end zone. Yep, timeout, uh, Warren. Timeout on the field. Time. This is High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on BTV. Dependability. It's expected by our customers and it's demanded by me. I personally guarantee the certified techs we send to your home and the equipment we install are dependable. John Wayne's American Pride Comfort Systems are designed specifically for San Antonio's extreme heat and humidity and come with a lifetime warranty. Right now, get a complete new system with affordable monthly payments from $72, plus get no interest and no payments for 12 months. For comfort you can depend on, call John Wayne today. I'm Oscar Cardenas. In football, we fight hard to make it happen. That's what makes us winners. 18-wheeler or company vehicle wreck injury put you on the sidelines? Get a winner to fight for you. A lawyer with grit and determination who will not stop until you get justice and all the money you deserve. And that's Wainwright Injury Lawyers. So don't wait. Call 8. Call Wainwright Injury Lawyers. 888-8888 now. Want to win? You know who to call. That's right. Wainwright. Respect. Justice. Demand it. Wainwright Injury Lawyers. The Warren Warriors have burned one of their three timeouts. And, Gabe, I'm assuming they're, they're hoping to hold this to a field goal. That's, that's the goal, man. Get them to kick a field goal, give up the three yards, and let's keep it a one-score game. That is your only goal right now. Uh, I think they'd rather give up the three points than the three yards here. Got a wing tight right here. Heavy set, bumping the tight end. Game on. Option right, pitch to Moda, and he will get hit hard, but he's able to hold on to the ball. He got clobbered, and he's still down, but he does land in the end zone. He's fine. He's a warrior. Against the he got warrior. a little loopy there, probably, but he put it all on the line. He's going to be fine. Great job. Great play call. They bumped the tight end, changed the strength of the formation. Watch this hit. Boom. He got sandwiched, and that was a uncomfortable. Out of him a little that bit. was an uncomfortable sandwich. He'll take it though. Hey man, the pain doesn't last forever, but the glory does. Jay, in that same formation that they scored the two-point conversion on, a little armadillo swinging gate right here. They're counting bodies. They still don't have enough. Uh, yeah, they don't you have know, enough bodies out there. They could run it if they wanted to. I'm not four on three, but. I'm not a mathematician. I'm just an old ball coach. Timeout. Well, also, John Jay, if that you, is their second timeout. You call it the armadillo slammer? What's that? What's, what did you it's say? It's a swinging gate, but they, they call it the armadillo. I just, well, for folks watching, I used to coach at Jay High School with Gary Gutierrez. So I know their signals and their calls, so that's why I'm using them. And the but knowledge continues, Robert. It's fun, man. It's fun. This is fun to watch. Well, what's, Jay, Jay doesn't give a lot of props, and I'm giving him props. So What what scares me a little bit about that is if if, if you if you happen to throw a pick and there's two the other way, then suddenly it's a one-score game well, again. But you know how if he kicks you at the point and you miss it. I mean, you can play the woulda, coulda, shoulda game all day, and Gary Gutierrez is a riverboat gambler. He has been ever since he's been at Jay High School for 11 years. And again, you know, the kids on Marbach, 76-11 Marbach, a lot of great things happening over at Jay High School. And a lot of times Jay doesn't get the, the positive uh, news that they need. There's a lot of great things happening over there, just like there is over there off of Westover Hills and Hunt Lane over at, at uh, Warren High School as well. But uh, yeah. it's, fu it's fun to see. It's fun to see this game. Both these teams playing lights out right now. I, I said first one to 20. Uh, it's going to be 25 at 26 that they make the extra point. They're coming back out in the gate. Let's see. I, you know, I'm with Bobby on this. I think you kick the field. I think you kick the point after time. We'll see what they line up here and they, what they do. Going for two. They don't have enough bodies. Gutierrez 
Sprint out. Got him. Did he catch it? No. Nope. Oh, he he dropped it. Down on the ground, so no good on the conversion. And it's now 24 to 14. This is the high school football showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on BTV. For all your business and personal banking needs, Schertz Bank & Trust is your community bank of choice to fit your needs and lifestyle. All the modern conveniences of big national banks, but with friendly, personalized service. At Schertz Bank & Trust, you are not just a number, but a valued customer that will be treated with respect. Learn the variety of loan and deposit account options online at ShirtsBank.com. Schertz Bank & Trust, strong and stable since 1913. The savings keep adding up for Fred Loya customers in Texas. In recent months, people who switched from Geico, Allstate, and Progressive to Fred Loya Insurance saved over $1,700 a year. State Farm customers saved over $1,300 a year. Include the savings of Fred Loya customers from multiple states, and that's a combined savings of over $1.1 million a year. Start paying less for your car insurance. Call or visit fredloya.com. If you don't call, you don't save. Jay Mustangs, oh, that that youngster's ready to call it a night down on the field. Great work by our sideline roamer, Rafael Aviles. Tell you what, it's just getting good. Three minutes and nine seconds left here, 10 point game. The Mustangs. Well, Andy, what, what Jay's done in this second half is They've gotten the takeaways, but they've converted them to points. We talked about that earlier. They had a couple of early takeaways that they did not convert to points. Man, they've done that very well here in the second half. Jack Moda with a two-yard run. That capped a six-play, 47-yard drive. Now Warren needs two scores. Here's the uh, short kickoff. It's going to be picked up at the 21-yard line. Headed to the left sideline is Ramos. And he has stopped at the 33. Yeah, Zach Mota, number three, great job coming in there, wrangling him up before he's able to get to the sideline in the open field here. 304 left here is Antonio Mesa and company come back out here. Not only do they need a touchdown here or a field goal, they're going to need an onside kick as well. I guess the field yeah. goal is still a possibility with a 10 point deficit. It's a two point possession either way you look at it. And they got to move because it's three minutes and four seconds. And Warren has two timeouts left. Jay has one. Down at the bottom of your screen is Elijah Real Zola. They're going to throw it out to Munoz. We'll run it up to the 38 yard line as Mota makes a stop. Yeah, that's a great play by Zach Mota playing his linebacker position, rushing, sticking his foot in the ground, and coming back out to make that tackle. Hurry up offense. Mesa fires it again underneath. A little, a little hot there for Real Zola. Andy, uh, this J team literally on the precipice of, of the biggest win I can remember, at least in the last five years. And, you know, they, they won on that two-point conversion a few years ago to, Against I, Brandeis. Yeah, to, to, to go to the playoffs. This is the biggest game they've played since then. And they got to finish this thing out, man. Third and six. Mesa pops and scrambles. Now lets it go. It's fluttered. It got Big. deflected again. Intercepted by Carlos Garcia. Garcia he down the, go to the house. Lines. And all the way, Carlos Garcia with a pick six. How about that? That's how you finish it right there. Nail in a coffin statement right there by the Jay Mustangs. Great job reading that again. Mesa has been rushed all night long. Nowhere to go right here looking at the replay. I think it was deflected again. He got five-man protection because he didn't have any backs in the backfield. Yeah, flag was comes. deflected. Baldwin was actually in his face. I give credit to that right there. Flag comes in after the fact probably right here so it's not going to be a touchdown but possession not, change not only in his face andy he deflected the ball this if we could see that one more yeah, time i'd like to see that hey i'm a fan of elijah baldwin for john wayne player of the game this cat playing both ways and he's doing a lot of things that are 
was certainly tipped at the line of scrimmage and it kind of fluttered right into a Jay Mustang. Let's see. Let's see if he got a hand on it. I think he did. Got dead ball. Unsport yep. to light. That was definitely tipped. On white. It'll be access on a kickoff. Oh, they're going to count the so touchdown. Touchdown counts. Touchdown's good. Yeah. Post score. A little unsportsmanlike. Got to be smart. But I see where they're coming. Yeah. Those Jake kids are coming from because it's been a long time coming since they were four and zero. And I was just gonna say, man, you we're never obviously. You've never been there unless you've been on 76 11 Marbach, guys. It, and I'm man. telling you, this is great for them. This is a huge win for this school, for this program, and for this community, Andy. A community that you have been a part of. You know these kids. You know these coaches. It, it, man, this is this is big for these guys. Guys, we will uh, have Jay again in two weeks on a Thursday night against Sotomayor, who wow. has yet to give up a point this season. Gutierrez sprint out, and he just chucks that one to the back of the end zone. <laughs> yeah, Andrew Martinez had a lot to say with that. 30 to uh, 14, our score now, with 225 left. That's going to be real fun with uh, Sotomayor in two weeks, guys. Next yeah. week, by the way, we'll go over to Northeast ISD. Two more undefeateds. A couple of more undefeateds. Roosevelt and Johnson next Saturday here on MeTV from Hero Stadium. I tell you, though, when you're playing in a district like Jay and Warren, that's a nine-team district. It's still early. You know, prognosticators like to try to play the woulda, coulda, shoulda, what if. Uh, you know, I tell you what, though, it's fun to see a game like this. It's been a heck of a game to score does not dictate how close this game really has been. A couple turnovers by Warren at inopportune times, and yeah, Jay capitalizing. Two things, uh, uh, Andy. One, this is a statement win for the John Jay Mustangs, and two, I still think Warren's a playoff team. Oh, no doubt. Yeah, so it, this is, uh, man, this was fun to watch tonight. Sotomayor has not given up any points against Lee, South Sand, or Stevens, and they play Holmes next Thursday home scores a lot of points, but Sotomayor will be favored in that one But how about the job those guys are doing in their second year and in two Thursdays on the September 28th will have their game against these Jay Mustangs After the penalty Jay will kick off from the 25 uh -huh. And that ball is live recovered by Warren at the 39 well, Warren has two timeouts here, and they got a short field to work with. Two possession game, 16 points, two touchdowns, two two-point conversions. Next week for Jay is Stevens, and they'll be favorites in that. Guys, it's very likely that Jay and, and uh, Sotomayor will both be undefeated in that game in two weeks. Got to take care of next week, though, man. I, I, I know that that... Uh, that sounds like, and it looks like a lot of fun, but Skelly, as a coach, yep. those are gotcha games, man. They always they always are, and, and they're gut check games, and, and it really shows what your program is made of to come out the following week and have a big win. Angel Gonzalez is coming at quarterback, and he's going to chuck one deep. Incomplete. So Antonio Meza appears to be done for the night, and it doesn't get any easier, guys, for Warren. They play Harlan next week, and right now, Harlan looks like the front runner. They knocked off. They knocked off Brennan a couple weeks ago, and Brennan hadn't lost a district game in a long time. And Harlan Hawks Bobby, did it in comeback fashion. I, I thought the same thing before this game, but I think some folks in Marbach Road may have something to say about who the front runner in this district is right now. It, there's more parity than you don't have the 800-pound gorilla. Yeah. That just beats everybody senseless as Brennan had done for three years. Now, that being said, guys, Brennan is still a very formidable team in this district. And even though they lost to Harlan in the one and one a district, I don't don't take those guys out of the equation yet. And I believe Jay and Brennan play last game of the season. That could be interesting. Third down and long, and that's going to be slight offsides. Slight. Or unabated to the quarterback. Looks like Outside. I'm slightly obese. On the defense. Be a five yard penalty. Replay. Third down. 
Thanks for coming to my defense, guys, <laughs> on me calling myself obese. I really, uh, really appreciate you guys saying, no, Gabe, no, you're fine. I didn't know what demons you were fighting on that comment. <laughs> I didn't want to go one way or the other, Gabe. Thank you, Scott. I got your back, though. Gomez, he's going to fire it downfield again. Another interception by the Jay Mustangs, and this is Dylan Gordon, who has two touchdowns receiving, and let's see if he uh, has a touchdown on defense. He will. We got a, we got a, he's coming back. Dylan Gordon, and then the fight breaks out in midfield. Yeah, get him off, get him off. Get him. Another pick six. Yeah, that, I don't know if that's going to be during the play or after. There's five, one, two, three flags, two hats. A couple bean bags. Yeah, they, they were getting sock. after. They were getting a after. A pair of boxers. But let's, hey, and it's just emotions right now. They had helmets on. Yeah, they were getting after it, but offsetting penalty. Let's go. And Coach Gutierrez and Coach Literal doing right by getting their kids back. It's been a very emotional, very physical. And again, somebody's got to win, somebody's got to lose. And that's all that was right there at the end of that play. And again, after the interception. Dylan Gordon had a pick six there, if it counts. Which and I'm going to say it's going to count. This will be after the fact like it was on the other one here. And the referees are conferring. And again, it, it's, it's frustrating for Warren right now. They've, they play their old guts out tonight. And they're in a dogfight. And it's not going your way. And This is the extreme, Skelly, on... on Positive and negative emotion in a football game like this. Don't, anybody who says, guys, it's just a game. It, it ain't at just the end a of the, game. It's not just a game. The emotions running through this field right now. You hear, you feel literally every human emotion through a course of a football game if you're playing it. And think about that for a second. Let, marinate on that a little bit and tell me I'm wrong. Yeah. No, and and I, what a life lesson for kids when it doesn't go their way. They're in the, the generation of instant gratification and everybody gets a trophy. And that's not the real world. I don't care what anybody says. That's not the real world. There is no touchdown in the play. All right. Got holding. They're going to call the touchdown back. On John Jay, that'll be a 10 yard penalty for the spot. We have dead ball on Sports Delight. On John Jay, he's been ejected. I got dead ball on Sports Delight. On Warren, he's been ejected. Those penalties are all set. Be first and 10, John Jay. I agree with the offsetting. That's what you got to do on that. I mean, it is what it is. There was a hold before the touchdown. They didn't eject Gabe on that. No. I wish they would have, though. <laughs> I'd go sit in the car in the air condition, listen to you guys. <laughs> on the BGC app. And that's another reason Antonio Mesa is probably out of the game. Yeah. The coaches need to start taking yeah. care of their personnel right here with a minute 17 left. Let's, you got to try to keep it clean here now, Again, guys. Again, this is Warren. Andy is a playoff team. I, I, I believe that to my core. They're talented. They got to figure a few things out on that offensive line. But if you look at, at this District 29-6A top to bottom, you're not going to tell me that they are not in the top four. I, I, it's too early to call for me, my friend. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm, I'm with Bobby on this one, I think. Give it about another four weeks, five weeks, we'll start getting the picture starting to see itself with the injuries and everything timeout. else. Jo Josh Warren just called a timeout, and it may timeout. be that conversation. Guys, stop. Don't do anything dirty. And that's where he's out in the middle of his defense being like, look, got a long season ahead of us, and we're still in this thing. Guys, there's, I mean, Look, Gabe, I, I mean, you got Harlan, who may be the front runner along with Jay at this point, Sotomayor, Taft, who we saw a couple of weeks ago. They had a close loss to Brennan on Thursday night this week. And you got Warren. I mean, you got right now, I'd say Harlan, Sotomayor, Jay, Brennan, Warren, Taft. I, I mean, it's. I said what I said, and I said it because of number 11. Mesa is a kid that's going to shake this off. I'm just telling you, man, I think I think Warren's a playoff team. I, I know that there's parity. I know that there's uh, that there's a lot going on in 29-6A, but at the end of the day, I think Purple's going to be in the playoffs. You saw the schedule. We'll have several of those games that we spoke of as a victory formation now for the John Jay Mustangs. They're just going to get out of here. they got to snap the ball one more time. Quick ride home, right, Skelly? Hey, I'll tell you what, there's nothing sweeter than leaving Gus Stadium, going over to Marbach, taking the left, 
celebrating with your teammates. Except for the construction over that in that area. Yeah, but, yeah, but coaches I, are driving the buses. They jump curbs. Don't tell Northside yeah, Transportation. But, 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 but Andy, uh, we just, get in. Just, to, just, to bring, just to rein it right in, how big is what Gary Gutierrez has to do with these kids for next week's game? I know you got Sotomayor yeah. in a couple of weeks. Next week's game, it's got to be about the Stevens Falcons. Yeah, no doubt. One, one, one week at a time. Coach knows that. And, but what a win tonight. One more snap. And that will do it. A big fourth quarter. It was 11 to seven going into the fourth quarter. And John Jay with three scores in the fourth quarter to pull away 30 to 14. We'll be back. We'll have our John Wayne Service Company player of the game in an interview with a winning coach when we continue with the high school football showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV. There's nothing more Texas than high school football. It's where families and communities come together. It's the pageantry of the game, the marching band, the dance team, the spirit group. A tradition and history unmatched anywhere in America. Great athletes, great games, and one of the best entertainment values for your dollar. Show pride in your school, and let's celebrate our common bond. Come, Come to the games. games. Come, Come to, to the, the games. games. There's nothing like being there and seeing Texas high school football. Come, Come to the games. games. Uh, we're looking for Dr. Mercer or Dr. Fulton. It's with the family. Yeah, we can wait. Foster families not paid. 47 claims of employees not being paid. We have to speak up, and we have to keep fighting. Kingshat investigates the troubling closure of Lone Star Social Services and the corporation behind the decision. Absolutely. Can't make you get off public property. I'm not even going to try. I do know that Dr. Murphy said uh, that he's not going to comment. The answer will always be no comment. Stream Kingshat's full investigation now on these platforms. It's so easy to love pick and pull. Why? How about the largest inventory in South Texas? How about the ease of finding your part with our interchange in real-time inventory search at pickandpullsa.com? How about an organized yard and maps to find your parts plus a shuttle? At Pick and Pull, we make it easy to save money on the quality used auto parts you need at a price you can afford. More to pick, less pull from your budget. Now that's Pick and Pull. The savings keep adding up for Fred Loya customers in Texas. In recent months, people who switched from Geico, Allstate, and Progressive to Fred Loya Insurance saved over $1,700 a year. State Farm customers saved over $1,300 a year. Include the savings of Fred Loya customers from multiple states, and that's a combined savings of over $1.1 million a year. Start paying less for your car insurance. Call or visit fredloya.com. If you don't call, you don't save. All right, guys, Gabe Farias here with the winning head football coach, Gary Gutierrez. Coach, gut check wins, man. Gut check wins happen all the time. This was a gut check win for your Jay Mustangs. Well, we came into the game expecting to win, you know, and, and we knew it was going to be a hard fight, and our kids prepared all week long. And so really proud of them, really proud of the boys they showed uh, throughout the game because we had opportunities to uh, check it in, and they didn't. So I'm real proud of these kids and proud of what they're doing. And so... Uh, we're going to enjoy this one and uh, move on to the next one. Yeah, Coach, we're giving the player of the game to an offensive player, but your defense stepped up. Talk about the play of your defense today. Well, uh, there's a lot of guys on defense that play on offense and vice versa. So, uh, you know, our guys played hard. Uh, I thought our coaches did a good job getting the package together to fit what they do, and uh, it worked out for us in the end. Coach, what, is this, what does this victory mean to that, uh, that Marbach Road community? Well, you know, uh, you know, our kids represent a lot of people, you know, and our, our, the band and things like that. We're having a good time. You heard the music that they played at the end. Uh, really represents Exit 7. You know, that's what we there at Marbach Road. So real proud of our kids, proud of our community, and so proud of our teachers and everything. So this is a big win for our, our kids and community. Coach, congratulations, and best of luck next week uh, against thank, Stevens. Thank you. I appreciate it, Gabe. All right, guys. Gabe, see if you can uh, send number uno over, or have Coach send him over. As, uh, well... We're going to take a look at the final numbers here. There he is, our John Wayne players again. That was, it took us a while to make that decision because yeah. there were so many standouts for the Mustangs. On the defensive line, Andy, you, you, we, that one of the ones that we brought up uh, immediately 
Well, uh, not I, I had 88, 88, 88 Elijah Baldwin, 99, 99, 97. Yeah, and I'll yeah, tell you, that's one of those deals that it's a team win. And you heard Coach Gutierrez, both these guys, a lot of these guys go both ways. It's a team win. That's why it was tough for us to, to pinpoint one guy. All right. Well, he had two touchdown receptions. He also had an interception that effectively ended the game. He was dynamic on the football field, and he's down on the field now. Yeah, guys, uh, I've got our John Wayne Service Company player of the game. We've been saying Dylan, it's Dylan Gordon, who had a couple touchdowns, and he uh, had, had a big pick. Dylan, talk about this win for you guys here, a big win for you guys. Uh, this is real big. Um, I just want to give it to my teammates, man, you know. We worked really hard this week, and the work really showed right, right here today. Talk about the pride you guys take, because there was a lot of pride, not only on the field, but in the stands and in this John Jay community. Talk about the word pride and what it means to you guys. Well, you know, a lot of people doubt us because, you know, we're from Marbach, and uh, we get a bad reputation from there, but we just put that all to the side, and we keep our heads high. We know we work really hard, and it means a lot to us here. Well, yeah, I talked to Coach Coutinho. A lot of you guys play both ways. You're one of them. Uh -huh. uh, you guys put up 30, but... A lot of help from that defense. Talk oh, yeah. about the play of your defense tonight. Man, my big guys up front, man, they, they really came in clutch today. Uh, they put a lot of pressure on the quarterback, and, you know, that it makes it easy, easy on us on the DBs. Well, Darlin, congratulations. You're our John Wayne Service Company player of the game. Put that hat on for me, my friend. There you go. Look at that. All right. Looks good on you, Dylan. Dylan. Well, he spells it Dylan. He says it calls it Dylan. Hey, we, we call him whatever he wants to hey. be called. He played like that. Great job, young man. Wow, there were so many great candidates. He ends up with our player of the game. So congratulations to Dylan. As uh, we will be back to wrap it up here from Gus Stadium in uh, just a moment, the Jay Mustangs with a 30 to 14 win over the Warren Warriors and the Mustangs remain undefeated. You're watching the High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on BTV. The Linda Company of San Antonio is about creating an amazing living experience for their residents. An experience that isn't perfectly described with words, but is felt the minute you walk through their doors. They strive to maintain an environment where memories are built and life happens. Their team applies advanced education and real-world experience to provide excellent real estate services in acquisitions, asset management, development, and investment. Learn more at lynd.com. Lind, your home, our passion. High school football fans, we need your help to vote for the John Wayne Player of the Week. Vote each week at johnwayne.com for the player you think should be honored as the Player of the Week. A feature on the winning player, along with the coach, will be filmed at their school and aired on TV and across social media. You can also win swag for yourself and enter for a chance to win a $10,000 home makeover package. Go to johnwayne.com and vote up to once per hour Sunday afternoon through Tuesday at 2. So vote for the player of the week at johnwayne.com. I'm Rashad Wisdom. Coach showed us what it takes to win on the field and in life. You've got to have power and determination. you got to be fearless but smart with a focused strategy. That's what it takes to win, and that's what attorney Wayne Wright's got. Wayne Wright lawyers fight to get you the most money possible. When life knocks you down with a car, motorcycle, or 18-wheeler wreck injury, get a champion. Wayne Wright. Don't wait. Call 8. Call Wayne Wright now. 888-8888. Respect. Justice. Demand it. Wayne Wright Injury Lawyers. It's a new day, and how you start makes all the difference. And good morning, San Antonio. Thanks so much for joining us today. GMSA gets you up and out the door with only what you need for the day ahead. New now and continued coverage. More of what impacts you. Leave doubt at the door. Our pinpoint forecast takes you inside what's next, hour by hour. Have a great day, guys. And with more live views from the road, we keep you clear of the backup. Everywhere you watch, expect more with GMSA. Stadium. It was an exciting contest that they saw tonight with most of the scoring happening in the fourth quarter where the Mustangs pull away for a 30 to 14 win. And welcome back to the booth here. Bobby Stotzenberg along with Andy Skelton. It was 11 to 7 and a defensive kind of a slobber knocker, physical, tough football game with a lot of created turnovers. And Warren actually takes the lead early in the fourth quarter, but then the Mustangs kicked it into gear. Moda had that big run right after that touchdown by Warren to get them into scoring position. They retake the lead, and then they build on it after that. I tell you, looking at it right here, uh, 
Yeah, this was a, I mean. Turnovers, you said it, Bobby. You know, that the, the turnovers were created by the Jay defense a lot tonight. Frustrating Antonio Meza, um, you know, getting points when you could get points early on and things like that. But, you know, what a dang defensive game all, all night long for both sides. Yeah, Jaden Simmons caused that first fumble for Jay. There you see the sneak by Antonio Meza. You know, he's one of the few guys that has a wealth of experience for this Warren team, and he certainly did his part to try to get his team into the game. This young man, our player of the game, Dylan Gordon, Gordon not Dylan, Dylan Gordon, with a spectacular grab there. But Antonio Meza wouldn't quit, although that time it was a deflected. That happened a lot tonight. Yeah, he got a bunch of Meza tonight. He has some tips on both his interceptions, and, again, a lot of it has to do with the pressure that defense. Here we see Jackson Gutierrez flipping it out to Mota, getting in the end zone there late. That was a key uh, score there that kind of gave him a two-score lead, and then here, right at the very end, a deflected pass, and then the interception by Carlos Garcia. This pick six actually counted for the Jay Mustangs. There was a penalty for excessive celebration afterwards, but that one counted. The one by Dylan Gordon at the end, he did take it all the way back, but it uh, didn't count as a score because of the penalty along the way. Let's take a look at the final numbers in this one as we have the stats for this John Jay win to go to 4-0 on the season. Again, not a spectacular offensive night for the Mustangs. Both defenses played outstanding. I think the, the key stat on this whole thing is at the very bottom of that stat line. No doubt. Five Damn. turnovers. It's hard to win games doing that that's a credit to Warren's defense that they they turned it over five times and they were still in the game and the four of those turnovers were in the fourth quarter if I'm not mistaken if not three but they happened late in the game a credit to John Jay's defense relentless pressure all night long on Antonio Meza uh, harassing him frustrating him uh, and again the turnovers weren't all his fault because he had some tip passes and things like that but again we had a hard time picking the player of the game because it was a team effort. It was a defensive effort by the John Jay Mustangs. Again, kudos to Coach Gutierrez and his staff. And again, hats off to Coach Littrell and the Warren Warriors. It was a heck of a ball game. Hard fought, physical. These kids are going to be sore and tired tomorrow, hitting the ice bath for sure. It was a good old-fashioned defensive slobber knocker of a football game. Well, uh, Jack Moda had two t uh, two t a touchdown and 160 yards rushing. He was a workhorse offensively. Defensively, I think the thing that put me over the edge with Dylan Gordon was the interception at the end to go along with the two touchdown receptions. As Jay has a lot of guys playing both ways. That's just part of the deal at Jay. They don't have the greatest depth in the world. The rumor is that they will move down as a 5A school uh, beginning next season. But uh, they're a 6A school yeah, this year. they're not year, worried Andy. about that right now. No, they're, they're right riding this 4-0, and, and why not? And again... Have fun over there on Marbach tonight, and it, it well deserved. All right, next week, there you see our streaming schedule on Thursday and Friday. A lot of great contests. You and I are going to get on the road to Midland. Uh, you want to drive some of that? Road way? trip. Let's right. go. Midland, we're gonna, we're, Judson we're, versus we, Midland Lee. We are the Legacy. road warriors on that. As uh, Saturday, our Me TV game will be Roosevelt versus Johnson, a battle of unbeatens. Warren will have to bounce back after this and take on a very good. Harlan team as well. Well, folks, uh, that will do it here from uh, the stadium. Next week, there you see the matchup, Roosevelt and Johnson over from uh, Hero Stadium. In two weeks, uh, we will see this Jay Mustang team against a still undefeated Sotomayor team, and both teams will be favored in next week's contest, so we may have back-to-back -back weeks or back-to-back-to-back -back weeks of undefeated teams facing off against each other here on MeTV. It's, one week it's, at a time. One week at a time. It's a lot of fun, and nothing's decided no. right now. It's, it's, it's still early in district play, but still a big win for Jay. Folks, we'll sign it off. We thank you for joining us again. We'll see you again next week here on MeTV. For Gabe Farias down on the sideline and Andy Skelton in the booth, I'm Bobby Stotzenberger saying good night. We'll see you again next Saturday night.